And we are back on Edgewater, baby. Oh, yeah, for episode number 11. We are just now starting season number two. And fortunately for me, I actually haven't recorded in like three weeks, four weeks, something like that. I pre-recorded a lot, and a lot has changed since then. So uh, let's talk about a little bit of it. Number one, the Dewey's Far has been swapped out for the Case Magnum that just came out for Mag Trucker 921. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got the twin turbo. We still have the Swather. However, the headers for it have changed a bit because now I have early access to uh, the, the new update. So the red one, or the Heston color one, that is going to be the new version that's going to be coming with the update. It may already be out by the time you're watching this, or maybe not, either way. Uh, this doesn't cut grass. So I got an Agco version on the back, which is uh, light gray. This will be the version that we used to cut grass, and we're going to need that because we have grass to cut. Cattle are exactly the same as they were the last time you guys saw me. However, now we are going to need to put down a silo, which I don't think I've actually done yet. So we're probably gonna have to put one of those down like back here somewhere. And we're also gonna need some straw because I need bedding for them. And I also need food for them. So we're gonna have to figure out how to make hay and, and silage and all that stuff. I'm gonna do my best to make it instead of cheat it. We'll find out if that happens or not though. So the first step to that is going to be picking up all of the straw from our most recent setup. So let's do that. Let's open her up. I'm also going to enable fast farming because of course, I'm gonna do that, and we'll pick up all the straw. Uh, this was from an entire harvest from this field. It looks like we may have missed a little bit here and there, but you know what? I think it'll be okay. This is gonna be a lot of straw, dude. And I was right, uh, quite a bit. We're over 1.1 million already, and this has been very, very nice, and it reminds me that there's another piece of equipment that I need to swap out too. Ooh, I almost got in trouble here. I forgot this grass was down here. So just to get rid of this real quick, there may be another way, but I'm just using the smooth mod like quickly like that. That should handle it. And it's going to be this guy right here. Did I put a clip in the middle there? I think I did. So uh, the cloth has been fun. I've had a great time with it and it's an absolutely beautiful piece of equipment. The guys did an incredible job with this. However, uh, it is time to move on, I think, and, and since we're going for a little bit more fun on uh, Series 2 from Edgewater, I got an idea of what I want to go with. If you thought it was going to be anything other than the Colossus, you don't know me very well. Also, we've gone for duels on the back and trips on the front. Uh, it's just insane. I've also gone for a really interesting color palette here. We went with Case IH for the design color. I've gone for Onyx Black for the main and design. And as far as the wheels, they're carbon fiber. And I did the one outside to match as well. Even the wheels, they're carbon fiber. Ah, oh, it's so cool, man. All right, so there you go. Lizard Titan Draper. I'm going for the unrealistic version here. Yeah, it goes faster. It's funny. This goes faster and holds more than all the mods that I modify. And this is base game, and I do my own. It's not fair. <laughs> we also need to do the pickup header as well. We need to modify this. Currently, right now, I've got it on the Case IH preset, but we're going to need to maybe, if I could find a way to do it, do a full customization. So this is the, uh, um, it is not an ideal. It is Kloss, but I don't know if I want cloths on there. Isn't there a version that you could just like customize and make it look however you want? Yeah. Metal shield or OEM shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are the way that I want to go. So this is the CNH shield on there, OEM or metal. I think I want to just go with OEM. That looks pretty good. Attachment. We need the uh, cloths because that is a cloth combine. Uh, decals. Let's see. Let's go for nothing. Maybe. Yeah, we'll just do OEM straight up. Just like the side looking just normal. Uh, we could also go with something else, but yeah, I don't know, man. Let's just go with OEM. And then the crop catcher. We don't have to have that, but I'm going to go for it. Main color here. Let's see. That didn't change nothing. What if I change case age? So that's red-ish. I don't like that. That'll work. What does this change? The sides? No, that's what I want to be red. Let's go main color. Let's kick it onyx black and then design color at the front. Oh, we can keep that red too. That'll work pretty well. Designs here. I'm not sure what this is changing. Oh, it's a little bit like right here. Okay, what if I do that in red? 
Yeah, it looks good. And then rim colors, well, unfortunately, we don't have anything we would normally run here. So let's just go with gray and be done with it. There we go. Customization is confirmed. Match is good enough. Now we need to silo to hold a few things. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is a modified version of one that I've done. I believe this was from Schulz Modding, if I remember correctly. Uh, this seems like a really good place to put it right there. We're gonna go for free build mode. That way it doesn't do anything while I'm crazy. And we'll put it right there. Ba bam Yes. Now hopefully, all of the stuff from over here doesn't go into it because it has a habit of doing that. Let's take a look at our cattle real quick. I want to make sure that I'm not giving them too much straw. So, ooh, oh boy. Uh, they're actually running low on food. I should probably feed them and give them all the things that they need for a balanced diet. Oh boy, we need like silage and grass and stuff right now. The brakes on this thing also don't work very well. <laughs> There we go, dump it in the silo and it'll hold. Now that all of that is done, we need to start mowing. We need to start getting some grass cut. That way we've got everything that we need. So we can put that down, put that there. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna have to go pick that right back up. Um, I don't know if I wanna go bales or not, but I do wanna find some way to easily make silage bales. I wonder if the Gervile stuff is gonna be the way to go for that. I'm not quite sure, but it does seem like that might be the way to go. There we go pick it up let's let's just have a clean setup today how's about that and let's go for a different working with or a different working swath drop this is one thing that not a lot of people know you can actually change the swath drop from center right and left on these headers all of these headers as a matter of fact and it makes for uh, picking them up a little bit easier later on or at least bailing and picking stuff up like that also makes it a lot easier later on so i'm gonna do that today make it easy on myself for later let's start here let's drop it down let's go ahead and enable fast farming and let's turn it on again i've gone for a separate oh well oh, that's a big swath um i don't know if i want a big swath like that but i'm already this far so i guess I'll learn my lesson and we'll do something later. All right, first headland's over. Now we get to do everything back the normal way again. We'll drop these straight smack dab right down the center. Perfect. These, uh, these swaths are a little close together, but you know what? That'll be all right. So we need TMR. So in the TMR, we're going to need a straw, which we've got plenty of at this point. But we're also going to need to do things like uh, a bit silage. And hey, we need all of these things. So I'm gonna have to go and figure out exactly how we're gonna make these, uh, make this TMR. What we might do is find a way to get a mixer, feed mixer together and make just a pile of it at one time or something like that, I'm not sure. And then maybe put it back in the silo and do bales or maybe we'll just do loose. I mean, bales would just be another step but we do need to make that silage. I think I may go with the old trusty Omatana thing and just go silage stuff like that, but I still need to make hay. I think there's a way to do that. All right, so now that we've got our headland done there, ba-bam, all done. I'm going to just literally go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until we get all of this done ready for pickup. I totally forgot that you can actually hire workers when you're doing grass. Not other uh, step will like i can but <laughs> with this version of the mod anyway uh yeah there you go this field's done it looks great i'm really happy with the way that looks uh the next thing is i've got a couple more <clears throat> i've got a couple more fields to do because i totally forgot plant three fields of grass not one so give me a second let me finish these up now all the mowing is done but we need some way to turn all the things that we have what, what the, drop, drop it wait what button am i pressing Oh, I forgot how to play farm sim for a minute. We need to be able to turn all the grass into an equal part of silage and hay. I'm sure there, there's got to be a mod out there somewhere that does it. Somebody got it working. I do need to like change a few things here because it doesn't look quite right. But look at that. 100,000 liters in, 100,000 liters out. 100,000 liters in, 100,000 liters out. Silage and hay. Grass is the only thing going in. Yeah. Ah. Wait, where am I? This isn't Edgewater. Well, and now let's figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Uh, it It is a little bit bigger, so... 
I'm not quite sure where we are going to put this. Mike could put it over somewhere like this where you could still get behind it, but oh, that's right in front of the manure pit, isn't it? Crap. Well, let's just put it all the way out here then. <laughs> what, what would it hurt, right? Well, bam! Right there, there we go. It should be right here. There it is, and hopefully it didn't mess up the ground too much. No, not much at all. We can make this look a little bit better, though, with some landscaping. So we'll come in here to painting. We'll get ourselves a hold of the uh, circle right here and just draw a little line into it. Maybe make this area a bit more, I don't know, drive through esque like that. That'll work. And then we'll try to draw that over there. Yeah, not too bad so far. There's some grass in here so that it actually looks like it's supposed to be. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, not bad. A little bit out here as well. It's looking pretty good. Spruce it up with a couple trees. Oh, the tree's a little bit too big. Let's let's put one there and one there, maybe. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better. <laughs> Just a little bit better. And then I think I'll see in pan. Let's see. Plants, let's come in here and put some bushes behind it and to the side of it. And then I want to do something right here because that's the production point. So I'm going to go back into painting, but I think maybe I'll do something like this. Yeah, do a little outline like you do on The Sims, and then we're done, I think. I don't know. Does it look like we're done? I feel like we're done. Now that we're in here, let's go ahead and activate both of these. So what it'll do is it'll actually take the, uh, the grass in and the silage in. Oh, you know what? I'm just noticing. There are different cycles per month for grass silage and grass hay. Oh, I gotta change that. All right, so after finding a few other things that I messed up, uh, well, we're good to go. And things are moving a little bit faster now. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's that's not right. I'll, you know what? I'll go change that to hay <laughs> later. Uh, we got a bunch of grass to pick up. Oh man, I gotta pick it all up, don't I? Man. Well, I guess that means I get to use this again. Yeah, boy. We've done a lot of picking up today. Let's see, we'll go pick this up. Oh, so many bright strobe lights. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, they are gonna be fixing the strobe lights. May already have happened by the time you guys see this. Uh, who knows? So, all we need to do is put grass in here and it will do like half, uh, half hay, half silage, and then we can take whatever's left out and make our own TMR mixture. Noise. And we're good. We've got all the grass picked up. I don't remember if I did any clips showing you guys me picking up the grass, but I picked up the grass and what I did was I got that. Now, let's turn it all into to, to stuff. So, grass is going in, there we go. Emptied it out, let's jump here and take a look. So 430,000 liters in, uh, both of these are exactly the same grass in one, grass into the other. We should see both these good. And also, well, I thought it went quickly, but cycles per month, 360. I don't, I don't actually know how fast this is going to go. I don't know. Let's find out. Pretty quick indeed, uh, I would say. I've got times on <laughs> time on uh, three times speed and, well, it's doing just fine. Yep, that's going to go pretty fast. Pretty fast indeed. So I guess we can go ahead and move some of this other stuff out of the way. Now I need something that I can mix the food with. Does 82 Studio have a food mixer by chance? Hmm. So the answer to that question is yes. Yes, he does. But we're going to need to uh, change up a few things. So we've got here, let's see, we'll just go no fenders. Strobes, yeah, we'll do unreal capacity. And for colors, I don't remember what color I chose. So let's just go with black aged for now. There we go. There's that. But this needs to be changed. This will take the 3500 set just fine. But I gotta change a few things. So let's go in here, let's change it up. Right now we've got the tailgate configuration, but we need the open chassis configuration. I think that's gonna be the only thing we need to change. I don't know. Let's, what, what's the worst that could happen, right? Nah, nothing bad could ever happen when we're involved. <laughs> JK, only bad things happen when we're involved. Uh, I think it chose the wrong version of the truck. Crap. Oh, I think it's only the short versions that work. And this is, this is a short version, but this requires a long 
version on the back of it. So does that mean I have to get a 3500 as well? I don't need to do two pickup trucks. So this truck definitely isn't gonna make it happen. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. But I do know one truck that will work. The 82 Special. I don't know if it's out yet, but he gave it to me. I told him I was gonna use it. Don't hate on me, David. <laughs> I'm using it, man! Yeah! Alright, looks like our uh, food is all mixed up, so I need 40% uh, full of silage, 40% full of hay, and then I need to fill the rest up with straw, so last bag of happen. And it worked perfectly, dude! I got the same amount of hay and silage on both. That's epic! Oh boy, that's fast. Um, Alright, there's 40% 40, 40 right there. Uh, silage. 80. Ooh. Wow. Not only did I stop it on 40, I also stopped it on 80%. That thing goes way too fast. I also think I need to modify this a little bit to make it a um, little bit more fun, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's see how far this goes. Go through. Find my straw. There we go. Oh, that was even faster. Well, <laughs> boy. All right, now I need to figure out where to dump this. I think it's on the other side. Swing it around. Okay. And dump. And feed come out. Wow, that's slow. Yeah, we're going to have to change this up. Did a little bit, but it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm back in. Let's see what happens now. Go, 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 go. And it's empty. <laughs> It holds a million liters now instead of 11,833. I'm a genius. I'm going to make the more. Now I could fill up and not have to worry about this thing just completely going haywire. And it works. It works perfectly fine. The only thing is now it tells me that I need an update to the TLX 3500. Oh, well, I'll be all right. So now's the interesting part. I've got to put straw in here and I don't know how fast it's going to come out. And I may just end up with forage and waste everything. So this ought to be fun. I think I could probably fit about 100,000 liters in here. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe about 50,000 liters. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So it's fast enough. Let's see. Let's get it right to the point. And now. So 27%. So we've been able to get 500 at 41,000 liters in here. This should be more than enough to feed the little baby cows. At least for a little while. So they should be good to go. We'll take a look inside just to make sure we are good. Yeah, that's going to fill that right up. Is what that's going to do. Oh, let's not let that happen again. Okay. TMR, fill it up. They've got a little bit of milk, a little bit of slurry. So we're going to have to fill or figure out how to sell all of that. And we've got to figure out how to do everything else too. We've got to fertilize the fields. We've got to redo everything. But first, I think we're going to have to figure out, number one, where to sell the milk. And number two, how to flatten all this out. I think we can make a really cool looking field that is completely flat. Well, ish, but one field. But I think we're going to have to wait for the next time to do that. Edgewater Series 2 is continuing to rock it today. We have something very interesting for you. The work today is going to be solely focused on turning this field area into one big field. If we take a look at the PDA, the work that we've got <laughs> becomes a little bit more apparent. We're going to be taking field 2258, or say field 22, this entire area here, and making it one. And that's kind of it, but it's going to be a lot of work. Our first foe in this is going to be trees. There's a bunch of trees all around in these little ditch areas. Now, these are going to be pretty easy to handle. All I gotta do is raise them up and make them level with the sides and smooth it all out. But the trees, that's a little bit different. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using the F12 mod and the delete objects input. I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna walk up to the tree, wait for it to pop up in the bottom and click delete. And I'm gonna have to do that a lot. I also understand I could easily come up with something like a tree devourer or something like that and, and take, the, uh, take the bits from the tree and take all the wood chips and sell the wood chips. Yeah, I could do that. Could, man, I could do that so much. This is easier. <laughs> this is way easier. I don't care about the wood chips. All right, well, that didn't take half as long as I was expecting it to take. 
So now all the trees have been deleted from inside the field. However, we've still got this little area right here. We have a little chikunk right here on the side of the field, which kind of continues on the other side of there. So what I'm going to try to do is follow along with this right here. And we should pop out on the other side where the trees end. Yes, I am. So I'm going to try and take every single tree that is either on this line or to the right or to the left of it, a little bit to the left of it. And we'll try and take all these and get rid of them. Okay, now we've got a pretty open wide area there. And all I got to do is delete all the trees on this side. Uh, oh yeah, just so we're being inclusive, you can do this on console as well, but you are going to need to use something like a tree devourer um, or some type of uh, unrealistic piece of machinery that will delete these. You could also just use like a stump grinder or cut the trees down manually, whatever, you know, kind of whatever works for you will work just fine. This is just the matter that I've chosen to go with. And this area, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I just don't care. <laughs> Once we get all that, go in and save your game as well, or if you're playing along at home. If not, <laughs> what up? Whatever. It's all good. Uh, now we want some trees. I actually want to do some landscaping. I need to put trees down. So I'm going to try and take some trees that are similar-ish to what we've been doing. So maybe some, uh, some elm trees, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That way it doesn't look too just not eh through all that. I cut down a lot of trees, so we need to at least put some down where it looks okay yes. Yeah, close enough. Now for the fun part, and, and by that I mean not the fun part whatsoever. We are going to flatten all this out, kinda. So my first idea with this is to s soften, had a little hiccup there, and to set both areas around. But the thing is, as well, is it's bringing this whole area down. Instead of bringing the area up, it's bringing it down to match the very bottom. So what I'm gonna try and do now is do like a, a level and just come through and, and do leveling with this so that it kind of levels it out and, and brings everything up to a, a decent height, resetting every once in a while so that whenever I select it, it kind of brings it up to a, a more appropriate level, I guess I would say, a more appropriate level to where it is. We will have to come through and flatten all this out, but, or smooth it out rather, but the important thing is getting all of this up and getting it level-ish with the ground around it. This is not an easy thing, as a matter of fact, far from it. However, I do think that once you get this done, once you get this part finished where you're getting everything leveled out and that type of thing, I do think it's gonna be a lot easier. And I think you might find yourself enjoying the map uh, a little bit more. I don't think there's too many people that complain a lot about the ditches and everything in between, but they are a, a spot for sure. <laughs> They're not the easiest to manage. So um, if we could just get rid of these, we're good. One of the super cool things between me and you guys. So BC Builder Farms at South Sask Modding. Uh, South Sask actually the uh, creator of the map itself. Uh, they kind of designed all of this to do this. So if you wanted to go through and do exactly what we're doing right now, where we flatten out, level, do all this stuff, and get rid of these ditches, they've actually created it to where, like, that's cool. Hey, if this is the way you want to do it, go for it, man. I love that they've done that and that it's an actual option that you could do. You just got to do the work. That's... That's kind of it. All right, so we've gotten everything done there. Now we need to go in here and soften. And we are going to be doing a lot of softening work. First things first, I'm just gonna go through and follow along, line the edges, go around the outside, make sure that nothing's too wild and crazy. I mean, it's not gonna be a difficult bit, but we do need to make sure that this step is done. Without this, you're gonna have spots in the field that are just uneven. There's gonna be really sharp areas. And it's not going to be the funnest to go through. The most fun, rather. Funnest. It's not even a word. Is that a word? Once the outline is done, and once we've gone through and actually done all of that, now comes the long game. We are going to slowly but surely follow along with each bit, going back and forth like this, and making it happen. And this is going to take the longest out of all of it, but this will ensure that we've got a smooth field 
And you can also use this time to maybe go through the rest of the field and smooth out some of those bumps because there are some bumps in the field. So use this time to do that if you wish. And also I'm using a mouse to do most of the work, but works just fine with a controller as well. At this point, I think I've done almost everything that I could possibly do other than literally just going through the entire field and flattening it. All the new areas that we've done seem to be pretty well done and not having too many issues. I do have some kind of big hills right here in the middle of the field, but uh, I'm not sure that I can actually get these down. Not with the Farming Simulator 22 controls, at least. Farm Sim 19, I was your guy with this bit, but not uh, not now, and I'm afraid not now. So let's uh, let's see how we've done. I'm gonna jump out of here. We need a tractor of some sorts. Ah, yes, this will be perfectly fine. And uh, unfortunately, that small plow on the back's not gonna cut it for us. I'm gonna lease something. I'm not gonna buy it, but let's uh, turn it around backwards, if you will. Pull forward just a little bit. Let's go get ourselves a plow. We're gonna get a big one. I think I'm gonna get the exact same one that I had. <laughs> that one's way too big. Let's go with that. Attachers, I don't think I need that. And let's go with all black and let's go with bright red rims to match. I don't know how much that costs to lease. $4,700 and it's in the middle of the ditch. Cool. Totally didn't just reset everything back to right here. Nope, not me. Totally not me. Let's go ahead and reset that. Got it. It's gonna be too heavy. It's kinda heavy, but we should be able to hit everything in at least one pass, so that'll be good. It's definitely not gonna be, uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Precise. Yeah, it's not gonna be precise, and that's exactly what we need right here is a precision instrument because I got to line these bits up. All right, lower down, turn it on. I also need to enable fast farming, which I have just done and bring it through here. Got it. Okay. Well, that was cool. <laughs> I think that worked perfect. Now we get to go through and plow up all these areas that we have created. Go and turn on create fields back and go through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of these areas we are gonna have to hit probably two passes, but most of this, as you can see, this plow works great. And yeah, 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 yeah. This plow's for all platforms. You guys can get it on whatever you own. It's awesome. And what better tractor to use it on than Mac Trucker 921's big old case. Now, one cool thing about the case is I'm recording this a few days before it comes out. Uh, this is supposed to be getting an update soon. Kind of exciting. I did forget about this little area though. Let's go ahead and turn off create fields. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I didn't flatten any of this. We do have this sign, which I can't delete using the delete key, but I think I can hide this actually. Map object hider, billboard, yeah. Oh, well, that works. Yeah, that worked just fine. Let's see if I can go in here and make this exactly the way I want. So we'll do leveling, about that big, nothing too crazy. Do like that, yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll bring that there and then we will soften the entire thing. What do they stop? Oh, <laughs> I'm in the road. <laughs> so we'll bring all this through here. We'll soften all these areas up and they should let us go through here almost perfectly, at least straight on. Let's see, can I make this straight on? I don't think I can. I actually think that the side of this field's a little bit too far out there. But I'm gonna go slow and see if I can at least line them up. Please be straight, please be flat, please be straight, please be fat. Fat, flat, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, good enough. All right, we'll go ahead and go through and we'll hit the rest of these and then we need to figure out what we're gonna plant in here. I don't remember what I planted last time. I think it was canola, but we're definitely gonna have to do something. And last but not least, I went ahead and hit the side over here. So everything looks good, everything looks nice. And we are finished. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go through and see if it's all lining up. Yes, it is. So there you go. You can see everything that is either uh, plowed or plowed, harvested. Yeah, harvested. That's definitely the other one. What's this little bit down here? Ready to harvest? 
What did I miss? So one of the things we've got over here is a big case planter, and it's actually inside here. We've only used it, I think, once for one field, but it's it's actually not quite big enough for the stuff that I want to do. This is a 12 meter and we've got access to a little bit bigger of these now. If we jump in real quick, we'll take a look at those. So let's see, lots of DLCs, that'll work. We'll find case and we need to find early riser. So these are modified. So we have the nine meter, the 12 meter, and we have the 18. I think, I think that with the money that we have, plus what we can actually sell from this, I, I think we could go with the big one. We don't have a massive tractor, but I think we can go ahead and get rid of this. Let's go and get rid of that. We got up, almost $200,000 for that, so that's still pretty darn good. I know we've been having fun in that big old case tractor, but we actually need to jump back on, <laughs> back in this thing for a little while. I forgot, we gotta fertilize. I don't need to do anything else. We don't have anything else turned on, so uh, we just need to put fertilizer on this field, and then we're gonna be good. <laughs> it looks like a really abstract drawing, doesn't it? Uh, not, not great, but it's fine. Yeah, I brought the uh, harvester all the way over here. Tractor, rather. I don't know, I don't know what words are coming out of my mouth, but they are not the right ones today. I did go for the big 18 row, but as you can see, I actually went with the one with just the own row seat tops. So I don't really need much more than that. So I feel like that's probably going to be more than enough for me. And I'm going to be real happy about that. So... Let's go and unfold this. We're going to set everything up. I need to get this field fertilized now, and I can't really cheat anymore because it's all one field. So I can't just cheat in what I want and be like, hey, now it's done. So I actually need to do this part. So let me go fertilize real quick. This is the part I've been looking forward to the most, hiring a worker to do all of this. As you know, going around all of those little bits and bobs in the middle of the field, man, it takes some time. Well, now, we don't have to worry about that any more. Actually, if I take away all of this, yeah, you can see it's just a uh, field. I love that. It's, it's just so easy. It's all just so easy. <laughs> I just hire a worker and, and that's all I got to do. This is incredible, man. I love this so much. I am going to run just a slight bit of a, like an extra headland here down at the bottom just so the worker doesn't absolutely do some stupid stuff. But you know what? This is this is so simple. I can I can just do this whole field. I can go upstairs and have lunch if I want to. Yo, I'm hungry too. What's for lunch today? While we wait, I think it's probably a good time to try to do something to see if our worker can mess up. I don't want to sit around and waste time not doing anything, but running one worker on here and and not another, I almost feel like I'm wasting time. So what we're gonna do is we are going to roll up, and we are doing wheat. Yes, we are. We are going to be doing another harvest of wheat, but in this one, we're going to swath it. I think I harvested it normally the first time around. Now that we've got the updated swather, I don't have to worry too much about grass everywhere. So this way, we should, in theory, be okay. I do understand as well that at the end and the uh, beginning, this planter is going to miss a whole lot, and I'm thoroughly expecting all of that to be things that happen. Uh, I don't want this to go too fast because the planter could jump and skip. But if it works, it works. Am I right? We're going 42 miles an hour right now. Have I missed any yet? Oh, please tell me I haven't missed any yet. I haven't missed any yet. This is doing okay. He's doing all right. Biggest question is right here. Is he going to get stuck? Oh, almost 100%. <laughs> but he didn't. He's definitely going to get stuck at the other end, though. You know what? I don't feel comfortable letting this happen with, without me watching it. So I'm just gonna park it right there and I'm just gonna pay attention to the fertilizing. And look at this, nice and easy, the last row. Oh, uh, that didn't put no fertilizer down on the ground right there. It just kind of skipped a beat. Why'd you skip a beat, homie? <laughs> no, I think, uh, I think there was an issue right through there where there was a spot that was already fully fertilized and did not need to be sprayed anymore. I'll go ahead and hire a worker right there and be good to go. Uh, and he'll finish up the uh, finish up the run for us. It does look like we got a little bit right there I need to hit. Yeah, this is the spot that he got stuck at back there. I'm gonna hit that little spot right there and then it's gonna be time to really get to planting. Spraying is now done, which means we get to do the fun part of planting. And well, it's fun for me anyway, because I'm just gonna fly through here like an absolute 
maniac at 18 meters and what 42 mile per hour max speed it's a whole lot of fun so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take a little bit of time i'm gonna get this field kind of planted up ready to go uh, we do have a few other things that need to be done before we continue forward so uh we'll just have to do those next time and we are back let's keep this party rocking and rolling and today we're gonna be buying some new goodies and you can see right here we're finishing up this field and i got to wondering well, we just got a new fertilizer spreader right well let's see what we could do with that i would love to do something with the lizard bulk and manure system or uh take a look at this one the sam so we've got the tipper we also have a spreading system now interestingly uh we can jump that to <coughs> 150,000 liters of solid fertilizer that was a uh <laughs> a regular cough in the game not a cough it was a dramatic cough let me alone and along with stuff like that by the way i went with the uh 150 liter tipper which was more than the one that i'd modified i'm also going to be going with the max super Lana x and we need the rigid x3 attachment um i do like all of this stuff but we really don't need this massive massive horsepower even though i'd love it you know what 1685 what Let's just get with it. It doesn't matter. Now we need to find ourselves some really cool wheels. Trilex look awesome to me. We'll see. Uh, Trilex black. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go with uh, Trilex black. Gotta love all these spots in the field. Every time you do something in the store or whatever, it makes the game glitch out for one frame. Yeah, it's my favorite thing ever. This one wasn't a one frame glitch. I'm pretty sure the game sneezed. All right, well, I can't plow that up so whatever and here we go so here's the trucks we went with or truck uh, that we went with uh, fortunately for us uh, obviously obviously totally totally not stuck down in a ditch right now let's see if we can fix that there we go reset it to the main yard that's that's what we wanted right there so we'll go ahead and hook up to this it's just the tipper version thanks uh just the tipper version so now we've got at least a truck we've got a, a tipper back to it as well which kind of looks pretty cool and i think we're good for now at least uh, i did get rid of the mac that we had base game or, or in the the run anyway but it's like you know we gotta stick with mac so we're going with this one and one of the really nice things about this is we can modify it and turn it into a fertilizer spreader i uh, should also be able to kick out manure as well i think let's take a look at the stuff that we've got right now so own items i don't think it's in four just in trailers yeah so in here actually you know i should probably just go check it out did i make a whole video on this oh well i guess we'll figure it out when the time comes nonetheless We've got a bunch of manure up here. We also have some slurry up here as well that eventually we're gonna have to do something with, but I'm not sure when. All right, while we're at it, we do have a few other things that we need to do. And one of those things is spray in our grass fields. And then I think we need to try and figure out what in the world we're gonna do with all this slurry and manure that we're getting because we're, we're getting quite a bit. So this is one way we could go. We could go the direction of the pumps and hoses DLC. However, well, we got nowhere to put it. <laughs> First and foremost, if we jump in here, I mean, there are some placeable spots around here, but I mean, we've got our, our place for doing all of our normal productions and there's really not room for BGA. So we would have to go through and, and I mean, like delete the entire shed that makes fertilizer or the uh, chemical shed we would have to delete all of these granted we're not using them i know a lot of people are but we aren't hmm you know taking this whole area and turning it into a bga may not be the worst idea oh oh but i can't sell it crap these are also required buildings so i can't exactly go in and just take them out so that doesn't quite work either so if i want to have a bga i'm probably gonna have to buy some plots uh this one down here is not terrible south end of the map ninety six thousand dollars for a plot to put bga in and build it what do you guys think not bad it's not completely flat however what we can do is at least flatten out the center of it yeah, that could work. And it's more than big enough to actually 
place some of these things down so we don't have to worry about sizing. You know, that may be the uh, the direction to go. Maybe we should buy that and put some crop in there and, and uh, harvest it later. Oh, apparently there's already a crop in here. It's peas, and it has been planted recently. Yeah. Okay. Purchase that. Mine? Ooh, what is this? $11,000 for, for this? These two little bits? Hold up. They're, they're quite literally nothing. I mean, well, you know what? I'm not going to even worry about it. I'm just going to move along. Actually, what is this plot? So this would be plot 45. It's field number 48 right here. It's way flatter. It is over here beside the rest of the production, so I wouldn't have to go all the way down. And as far as sizing goes, because I would definitely want to go with the Planet BGA setup. Yeah. I mean, it's flat enough. This would be a pretty sweet BGA, as a matter of fact. You know what? I'm not going to do this one. Let's go and sell that. Let's buy. Where'd I say it was? This one? Yeah. Kaboom, baby. Ah, this is also peas. Well, lucky for me, I don't have enough money to to do anything really right now we got about 300 grand so i think the biggest thing for us right now would be to fast forward a little bit of time and see what happens all right well uh we got into it and i totally forgot i was gonna sell some milk so let's go in here i'm going to line this up just a bit right, right about there and pow <laughs> got him all right let's do a little landscaping around it. and then we got to figure out how to get the milk from over here to over here yeah this will be absolutely perfect let's jump out of here perfect place to drop that yep totally best place to put that got it uh we're we're clipping just a little bit i might want to i may want to raise that up just just for the time being let's go ahead and get ourselves some milk out of this Fine milk, there it is. We'll fill this up real fast. Uh, this isn't gonna hold everything. It's like 60,000 liters, something like that. And from here, we'll just kind of dump the milk in. Now, I do know that there is an issue with some milk uh, containers not unloading, and this one seems to be that way as well. I don't know, let's go in here and take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, for some reason, it's just not taking it. So we're definitely gonna have to figure that out. And interestingly, I'm, I'm actually not able to get this milk out of here at all. So we're gonna have to figure out how much this is gonna cost us and then give ourselves the money. All right, so here we go. Uh, we've got 60,056 liters and I would take it here, obviously, uh, $2,363. Uh, per thousand liters, which is equal to one th or 141,912 bucks. So let's go and get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and add our money in as well, bringing us over 478 grand. Pretty nice. Oh, that's a crash counter. So in here, we're just running a raw milk setup, but uh, it says we got 142,000 liters already in there. All right, not, we're not sure where that's coming from. But at least it'll make some money, which makes me happy. We've still got all this manure. We've still got all the slurry in here as well. A lot too. 200,000, 180,000 liters of slurry. More manure than slurry. It's kind of kind of wild crazy. Hopefully we can start building this BGA soon, but it's probably going to be near the end of the year. So a day later and money's still pretty good. $588,000. So that is good. We've also got more milk coming into here. So we don't actually have to do the milk ourselves. It's just here already. It's kind of nice. Uh, so it's spawning out. It's selling the milk, doing very well. We could go butter cheese chocolate if we want. We could even upgrade this, but it's already the cheaty version. There's It, it just goes so fast. 24,000 cycles per month. So yeah, I think I'm okay. However, unfortunately for us, our fields, even this little guy right here, well, there's really nothing, man. There's nothing to do. So we're still waiting on the grass to grow. It should grow in July. It should give us at least one more good state, but... Yeah, we're just kind of chilling right now. Take a look at the cattle. How we doing? Decent. Could be better, but decent. So I totally forgot <laughs> that Omatana released these insane trailers that that are that are just wild and crazy. So they this the Tardis. At least one of these. Where's at least used? Crap. There it is. Two hundred thousand. <laughs> 
It's insane! Uh, it also unloads fairly quickly, yes. Uh, and I figure we could probably get the milk over there. Oh, that is taking milk straight. Huh. That is, that is just taking milk straight out of the silo. And from... All right, so what I did was all of the stuff around here also works as an extension, which is just not a great idea. So don't... <laughs> 9 out of 10 would not recommend. But all three of these just work as silos, which is just hilarious. So if I come over here, we take a look. You can see it put milk back in it. However, the milk's not in there. And this says it has milk in it. And it's the exact same amount. But it's not in there. And it also says that there's milk in here. And it's way more. So, you know what? I'm just not going to try anymore. Well, I got some good news. There is at least something for us to do. We can go mowing. Our grass is ready to go. It's not going to get any taller, so... Why don't we get out there and get to work, man? If you guys missed one of the last updates and last videos, whoa, <laughs> hold up, what was that? Uh, we ended up, oh, looky there. Interesting. This is probably why Giants didn't release this mod, which uh, goes through the walls, because that happens. Uh, they did say that it didn't turn out as well as they wanted it to, so they never released it. And I think that's why. I'm We've got new headers now, at least I do. Hopefully these are out by the time you guys are watching this video, but maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> We've got access to uh, the update to this, which makes things nice and easy. Except for me yawning. That's not that, that well, that just always happens, I think, doesn't it? We're going to go through here. We need to get everything mowed up and then we need to pick it up. And once we've got it all picked up, then we can just start converting it all again if you guys missed any of the uh he hey here's how i do stuff <laughs> i got a i got a cheaty thing behind us that basically turns every bit of grass into either hay or into silage and it does half and half and i love it 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 gotta be honest with you guys swathing is probably turned into my favorite thing to do in farming simulator right now and if given the chance i would likely just sit around and do this all day every day because I enjoy it that much because I'm a psychopath. <laughs> uh, have you, uh, or are you a loved one, tried swathing? It's fun. You know what, don't, don't, don't reply to that. And don't forget, the swathing pack still works with a worker if you guys are using it like this. And as a matter of fact, uh, the new update for Edgewater Saskatchewan, well, it will also work there too. Uh, now, I don't have that update yet, so, uh, if it is out by the time you guys are watching this, which I'm sure it probably is, I do not have access to that update. So I think that's very important to note. Uh, speaking of important things to note, where is my tractor? Found it. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and start picking up all that grass. There's no reason to just sit around. I got a loading wagon around here somewhere, don't I? Found it. Man, I tell you what, I really hope something like this finally gets released onto uh, consoles to all platforms. Because having something like this is so beneficial whenever you're in the uh, in the field just trying to get stuff picked up as quickly as possible. I do know Hispanic Monning did mention that they were going to be working on something like this. So adding those, uh, those windrows to the sides of their loading wagons. Uh, but you can also use just a regular loading wagon with is R90 or the uh, the Lizard Windrow. I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, there's a standalone version that goes on the front of your tractor, or you can use the trout version that goes on the back. Either of those will work just fine. You just need to make sure that you're using something, anything. It will work. I don't know why I said I hope that something someday comes out. You can do it now. Coming along, not too bad. Just mowing, mowing the yard and stuff. You, you guys know how it is. That'd be pretty sweet to have one of my Kubota riding lawnmowers in here. <laughs> That'd be so cool. So almost done, and I think maybe we are almost done as well. We've got a little bit more I need to do, but otherwise it's just picking up the grass, dropping it into our uh, silo over there, and going from there. I will tell you this, I've had a great time building my own farm and utilizing just a few of the smaller fields around the area and turning them into something mahoosive. So uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying that as well because I think that's probably the way I'm going to continue along for the rest of the series. I don't know if I'm going to be buying a big farm, and I don't know if I'm going to be doing this or that. 
I'm really enjoying taking the, the areas where there's just nothing and creating something out of that. I'm fun doing it, and I hope that you guys are enjoying doing it as well. So, uh, until then, until the next time, which we'll, we'll probably be doing a massive wheat harvest, and probably if we can get the money going, we will more than likely be going through and uh, seeing what else we could do with production chains through there too. Because, I mean, it's wheat. It's We've got an opportunity here, guys. We've got an opportunity. We could do flour. Season two, round three. Let's get it rocking, baby. Today, we're going to do something a little bit similar to what we did the last time. We're going to be creating some extra field volume. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this area right over here. Now, it's not a huge plot. It's just kind of the trees that are in front of us right now. Get out of here, crows, birds. I don't even know what that was. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raise this area from there bring it over to here and connect with this grass field right here, which is 1.22 uh, hectares or something. And then we're going to cut out all these trees right here in the middle because I keep having to go over this stupid area just to be able to fertilize this field over here. So we're going to basically bring them closer together. I thought also about knocking down these trees, but I don't want to lock down too much because it's just not going to look right without it. So... I'm going to leave these for now. So let's save the game as we always need to do because I'm an idiot. Then we're going to open easy dev controls, delete objects input, one of my favorite mods ever. And let's go ahead and just delete all of these. I do want to make sure my field info is on down there at the bottom, right? Bam! Get out of here. Ba Bam! <laughs> Uh, so this entire area is just going to be turned into a little bit more of a grass field. That way we've got a little bit more room to work with. But again, I don't want to delete too many trees because then the map's not going to look quite right. So let's just not do that, shall we? I'll make a deal with you. If you can guess how many trees I missed, I'll give you a cookie. The answer is none. Did you think it was that one right there? Ha ha ha. I keep all the cookies. So with all those trees gone, you know, all of them, now we can get a better idea of how we're going to connect this. So we're just going to... Go right through there, right up towards the middle of your screen, to the right of where the deer is. We're going to raise all of that area up together, and then come all the way down to the other end. Again, I'm going to keep these trees down here. I like them. Save your game first, because if you like me, you're a bit of an idiot. So, you know, just save the game, and you'll be okay, for the most part. Well, not always, but for now, you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. I also don't want to go too far out this way. However, I did bring this in, so I kind of want to do the same thing. You can see that about right there is where it kind of ceases to care where it is. So I'm just going to go with that. Bring it up, bring our level, make it about the same as there, and then just bring it across. Reset, grab another level. Grab right there. There you go. If you're going to be bringing areas like these together, make sure that whenever you're raising the ground up, you don't get too much. So I'm going to click, drag a little bit, and then stop. Click, drag a little bit, and stop. You saw that. Some of it's going up. Some of it's going down. Like here, a lot of that's going up. So I do need to make sure that we don't get too far out. Just enough to come straight across. There you go. Something else that could help you potentially is taking the grass texture that we've got here and painting all of this. Now, some people have it to where it doesn't cost them anything to do this, like me, uh, but some people don't. So you could choose to do this if you wish. Uh, we're just gonna paint over this at the end of it, or, or I said paint over it. We're gonna plow over all of this at the end of the day. So I'm not too concerned about where we're at with it. There we go, that will work. Now let's jump back into sculpting. Find your soften tool, make it as big as it can be. And just walk through nice and slow, going back and forth, and just soften. Get all those edges right up to each other. Make sure that it's all flowing very well. And then you'll be good to go. And we got a little spot right here. But actually, when I come this way, it all goes down. So maybe that's exactly what it wants me to do. I'm going to do that. All right. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to smooth all this out. One other thing you can do if you want to, and I'm actually going to do this, is I'm just going to go through the entire field itself as well, since it's not that big. And I'm just going to do a bit of smoothing to it from above. That way, whenever I come back in, whenever we start to uh, farm on it a little bit, it's going to be a nice, smooth field. Now for the visual inspection, <laughs> let's come through and just kind of take a look at it, see how everything goes, see how everything's flowing. And, and I think, oh boy, that's 
That's a spot right there, isn't it? Yes, it is right here. So let's find everything yet again. Uh, you may even want to go with something a little bit smaller. That way everything kind of flows in together for itself. Uh, we're going to try and get this done, but something tells me it's still, yeah, it's still down in there. So uh, we're going to have to go and do some leveling through here. Just about like that. Maybe bring it up. It's a lot easier to bring stuff down than it is to bring it up when you're using a level. All right there, that should be good. Soften it up and just hold it over it till everything stops moving. Much, much better now. Look how good that looks. Yes. Some of this doesn't quite line up the way I would want it to, but the good thing is all I'm going to do is come through and plow this anyway. So let's do that part now. We don't need to make quick work of this, so I'm just going to hook up to my trusty plow right here. Yep. Got him. So now you should be able to kind of see a little bit better what my game plan is going to be. And yes, this is turned around backwards. If you don't know, you can use the 6M backwards. Let's go. Let's drop it down. There we go. Let's go and turn on create fields. Ooh, that got close. I got really close. Come around through here and line it up. Hit it. Perfect. Yes, sir. Now I just got to do that to all of this. But since that area is good, we come down through here. We've got one more spot to connect the two fields together. So I'm going to go and hit that real fast, which is about right there. I think this entire field def right here needs to be redrawn. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like we need to come straight out with this right through there. Yep. Spin it around through there. Let it go a little oop, right close to the edge and then connected. All right, cool. Let's go and plow the rest up. Last plot, and we are done. Sweet. Raise it up, turn it off, do the things. Ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Now you can see the entire field depth right here. We're going to turn a few things off so you can see the whole bit all the way around. We do have some spots. Actually, there's a spot right here. I don't know what that is. Is it a spot that I missed? Oh. Oh, that's not good. I think it's right in front of us, so I'm just going to go forward with this and see if that did it nope then that, that did uh what that did not do was did that yep um it's my plow limit to fields yep huh well i guess there's just a spot now time for the fun part we need to go through and fertilize all this some of everything that we've got through here has already been fertilized but we need to do this anyway because i figured out i wanted to do this a little bit too late the good thing is, at least the parts that we need to do are all going to be darker gray, which is nice. Then we can come through and uh, plant some uh, grass seed through there, and then we'll be good to go, I think. Don't get caught on the fence. Nice. Now for a fun part. Let's get this thing unfolded. I got it on grass. We'll just take a look real quick, make sure we hit everything. Yep. So once we go over this once, then we'll be able to hit back through and uh, be good to go. I've kind of thought about replanting this entire field, but I think we're going to be fine. Drop it down. Turn it on. There we go. And then as long as we can almost hit everything, I think we'll be okay. And now grass is good. And as long as we want to, we can keep grass in this field. And we never, ever, ever, ever have to do anything at all. Sweet. Oh, wow. I'm running way faster than I want to. Turn it on, baby. Let's go. Let's hit this. And then now we'll have a couple big fields of grass. We'll have two instead of three kind of super, super weird and awkward shaped fields. <laughs> uh, let's see. As long as I can stay in through there. There we go. There we go. We also have this spot up here. I need to make sure I hit that. There we go. Got it. Good to go, man. Good to go. Yay. So let's talk a little bit of an update and our updated uh, game plan, I guess. I'm not really sure it'd be an updated game plan. So here we've got a massive amount of wheat. We are going to be swathing this up with the new swather. And then we're going to be going through collecting everything, collecting the straw. The straw is going to come over and go in our silo. Although we could probably sell it down the road if we really wanted to. We've also got our manure and slurry over here that are coming from the cattle. These are going to be going to the homemade BGA that eventually we will have which is going to be right here down in field, uh, field line 48. Now we've got two grass fields that are very comparable in size. Uh, let's see, uh, field 25 area. Um, 
and then I feel like this area over here is going to be showing a little bit different. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. So uh, this field right here, I believe, is 3.21 hectares. Yeah, and then we've got on the other side, 4.28. So a decent amount for uh, seven, almost eight hectares worth of uh, grass to mow. Very good. So a lot of the money that we're going to be making over the next probably year or so in game is all going to be going towards milk. Yes. And down here to go to our other field. It is growing right now. I believe it has peas in it. It's not completely ready to go yet. Hopefully our header fits through there. We could delete some of those fences if we want because we do on the land. But this whole plot going to be a BGA once we're all said and done with it. Unfortunately for us, yet again in game today, there's really not much else to do. So I do want to double check the cattle, make sure they're okay. Uh, they do have a decent-ish amount of feed in there. Oh yeah, one thing, last episode, yeah, we actually ended up getting a bunch of silage and hay. Yo, hold up a minute. We could make some TMR. Like right now, we could do it together. <gasps> do you want to do it? Let's do it! I don't actually remember how much this holds. I don't know why wheat is in there, but uh, it holds a hundred thousand? A million? Yeah, a million. Let's, let's empty that out. I'm just curious to see what it would hold. That's too much is what it is. So I'm going to go under here and we're just going to fill up with the full total amount that each one will give us. We've got hay in here. we got silage. We can go over there and make some straw. Good to go. In case you missed it a few episodes ago, we took this piece right here, this silo from Omatana, which turns grass or chaff or hay into silage, and I made it to where it would also turn grass into hay, and I deleted those other things because I didn't want them. So now I can pretty much make a good amount of TMR if I want to, and I'm very, very tempted to make this hold straw as well, and just straw in, straw out, that way I can make a total TMR monster turn on my help window so i can see everything flowing and we're gonna run over here to schultz's uh this thing silo there we go right under it and we're gonna fill up with straw and we're gonna let this fill until it gets almost to the edge almost to the edge fill it up fill it up fill it up fill it up stop it right there Whew. 596 thousand liters that's a pretty good amount. We'll go ahead and feed our cattle now. That way we don't have to worry about feeding them later. And then the rest of the TMR will just go into the silo whenever we're done with it. How cool is that? So 91,000 liters left and they can't take any more. So we'll just come back over here and unload into our silo. Sweet. Take a look at straw, how much they've got. Eh, they got plenty. So with that, I'm going to park it up. We're going to lead it be. There we go. Double check our milk. See how everything's going through there. So 98,000 liters of milk in there. We'll come check over here. We should see 198,000. Yep, as we do. So we're just going to let that keep rocking and rolling. Keep building. Uh, we are doing more milk business in a day than we can manage. You know what? I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. <laughs> We're gonna go upgrade it, baby. Let's come over here and let's upgrade this factory. Bam, bam, got it. There's no need to upgrade the fermenting silo. It's already ridiculous as it is, 33,000 dom. I'm good, bro, I'm good. Let's go ahead and let that do its thing. And we'll head over here and we'll get some sleep. Into August and boy, oh boy, are we going to be having some fun. Everything is set, ready to go. Our cattle are doing great right now. Uh, we've gone through another day in game. However, you can see at the top, we've got almost 150,000 liter or dollars more today than we did yesterday. We're going to be picking up a lot of straw today. We're going to be harvesting. We're going to be swathing. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ha 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 ha. And we get to use this bad boy. But... We're going to do that in the next one. Sorry. Happy Harvest Day, everybody. We are going to be getting some work done today. It is Harvest Day. We're going to be using our new, our brand, brand new Combine Harvester today. We're also going to be using our Swather, which is not new by any shape of the imagination, but we need this first. You know what? Now let's have a little bit of fun in first person today as well. Why not? First things first, we need to grab our Swather. Also, I need to... Make sure that all of my FPS, yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm still getting over the last update. I haven't done much in first person since then. Got it. Ba-bam. Yeah, I can't drive in first person with this thing, so I'm gonna go back in third. So today, 
we are going to be swamping up the entire field of wheat that we did the last time. Then we're going to be going through and picking it all up with our swather. Now, one of the cool things is, at least I think, we might be able to use a worker with this. But, but I'm actually not on the next version of Edgewater. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. And I'm recording this two weeks before it comes out. So I might, uh, I might be recording this a little bit early. This is going to be fun. Might as well start this whole thing where we're going to be starting anyway, which is down here. Um, I do have crop destruction turned on. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll turn in over here right at the edge. Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. Let's see. So they say lower this header. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then I can hire a worker. So we'll see if that actually works for us or not. We go ahead and toggle my working mode, which, oh, idiot number one over here, AKA me pressing the wrong button. There we go. We should be good now. Okay, moment of truth. Hire everything up, drop down the header, and it is not. <laughs> I repeat, it is not getting any of the grass off the side. That is pretty cool. Hire worker, eh, still not working with this version of the map. Unfortunately, I'm still on the original version. Nonetheless, uh, does that mean I'm gonna have to do this entire thing? I think that's exactly what this means. I gotta do this whole field, swap the entire field, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Made it around almost a full way, but it's really funny kind of going through these spots right here. It almost feels like it should be doing this. Oh, it, it feels weird. I've done like, what, four or five harvests on these fields now? And and now it's just completely changed up. There's no more anything in the middle. It's just me, man. It's just me. As we come around through the end here, I'm going to have to decide, do I want to go all the way around? And how do I, how do I want to do this? And of course, that's going to end right there. I think what I might do is just kind of go backwards now. So instead of going, you know, swapping up my swather and everything, I think I'm just going to do this. And yes, I know I could be hitting a whole lot more if I would put two swaths beside each other. I know. I get it. I also prefer to do it this way. It's just my thing. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And we're going to do this entire field like that. So be, uh, you know what? Just be ready. And our first round is completely finished. All done. Now I just got to do this a whole bunch more. <laughs> oh, help. Something that I did not plan on was it taking this long to do this. I can't hire a worker. Can't do any of that. Of course, I could use, you know, special PC mod stuff like that to make it happen. But I, I don't use those it's like GPS and stuff. So I just do this myself. Now we're making it through. We're making it through. Taking a look here. There you go. So that's everything that we've got there. But it's still taking forever. Maybe there's another mod out there that we could use to actually hire a worker on this. But I think at least for right now, uh, we're, we're going about as good as we can, man. The good thing is, as soon as this is over, all we got to do is come back through and swath it. That shouldn't take too long. And then pick up all the strom. Take the... Uh, what crop did I put down? It's been so long I forgot. The wheat. Yes, the wheat. How, how could I have forgotten? We'll take all of this. We'll take it, sell it. And we should be able to make a little extra cash. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We should probably be able to do that BGA. And just like that, we are done. So the whole field has now been harvested, or at least whatever the bit looks like. And then there you can see. Looks pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Now we've also got all of these grass fields around us as well. Those could be, uh, well, those could use some work, but not today. So this part I'm super, super excited about because not only do we get to use the new header right here, but we also get to use the new combine harvester as well. I don't know, but I think this is the first time we've used it. Yeah, it's showing 0, 0.00 hours. So let's rock and roll, man. We'll get this thing out of here. It is super fast, it is super awesome, and uh, and I'm super excited to use this thing. So if you guys missed whenever I did the buying of these, so this combine's basically a Kloss combine. So what I did was I went with the Kloss version of this header. So if we take a look at it real quick, we'll go in here and just hit customize. Uh, you see presets showing on the case, but that's not it. I ended up going with one of these. Actually, I'm not sure why it just keeps popping up case, because that's 
Definitely not it. Anyway, if you're going to be doing this, which you can do this, you are going to need to go with the uh, the cloth version of the header, but you can change the colors to match your combine. So this part's really the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, de, de bouncing. Uh, <laughs> it does look kind of funny at the front, but I really have to get a worry a little bit because if it bounces too much, it's just going to miss it. So I don't... I don't really know how to handle that. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> does look pretty funny though, doesn't it? What it gives All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, it's bad. All right, let's go ahead and get everything unfolded. Then we will uh, hook up here. I don't think that this overrides the header speed, so we are gonna have to enable fast farming, which is just called. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's a mod. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> What's the mod called again? Oh boy, I'm missing a whole bunch. Oh, and I don't even have stroll swath turned on. I'm an idiot. Real speed limit. It's called real speed limit. There we go. All right. So I've got that turned on. Moving along. And we should start to get some stuff. Oh boy. So you see all these bits of bobs right here? This is the issue. It bounces too much. Therefore, all the straw gets kind of put around. So I think we're going to have to go slow here. I don't want to, but I think we're going to have to go slow here. Let's bring this down to maybe about 14. And we're still getting bouncing at 14. That is real difficult. Real difficult indeed. Maybe bump it up to 16. See how that goes. Uh, it's bouncing, but it's not missing as much. So that's good. Maybe we could... 19. This is as fast as we went with the uh, Kloss Combine, the American one. So this is working. All right. Let's give it 20. 20 mile per hour. Good. We're good with 20. What about 22? I think we're going to get to the speed where it gets just a little bit fast. I want to be able to pick up 99% of it. We might miss a little bit here and there, and that's okay. I just want to pick up the majority. So I think this is working. I'm pretty comfortable with 23, 24 miles per hour. So let's see what we can get into here. Okay, all the way around and we're actually already at 30%. So this is, this is a lot. There we go. Uh, we got a lot of straw. We're gonna have a lot of straw to pick up and pretty much most of it got picked up. The good thing is that was just the headland. Everything else from here on out is just straight shot back and forth up and down the field. But this, this isn't actually the the coup de grace? The, the good part of about today? No. <laughs> nah, we're gonna we're gonna make a lot of money and hopefully build a BGA. That's what we're gonna do, yeah. You know, I wasn't paying attention. And it's full, man. It's full. What do we what do we even have? Oh yeah, the truck! I can't get out of here. We're gonna close these doors. Yeah, I definitely forgot that we had a truck. It's been like a week or two since I bought any of this stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and get this unloaded. It is gonna take a hot minute though, because yeah, well, there's 150,000 liters in here. So give me a sec. There we go, perfect. Both of these hold, oh, this has got a little bit more. And this has got, all right, well, fair enough. Now we need to figure out where we're going to sell this. It's just wheat. So it's nothing crazy, nothing wild. Let's see, 24. Oh, that's this guy. Mm. We don't want to go there. Grain West seems like the perfect place. Target? Let's go. Where is it? Oh, yeah. We've been over here quite a few times. There we go. Jump through there. And should be... Is it the one that's right up here? Is this it? No, it's not this one. Huh. Where is it? Oh, uh, well, I didn't go far enough. It's on the other side of the train tracks. Yeah, definitely on the other side of the train tracks. It <laughs> says GW right there. Grain West, baby, let's go. Definitely a very interesting <laughs> uh, dump animation right here, but this might be one of the fastest I've ever seen. That was insane. $327,000 just for one full bit. And we'll probably have a few of these. I think we're going to have not only too much money to buy a BGA, but we may have to dedicate an entire video just to buying it if it's going to take this long. So remember that moment just a second ago when I said we'll have a couple different bits? Yeah, uh, we haven't gotten a second one yet. And we won't. <laughs> but you know what? 
whatever I don't, it doesn't matter we're, we're good we've got plenty there we go drop the straw around uh, i didn't try to even try gonna be honest with you guys i just went through and did what i could the bit that we used to pick up all the straw that'll be more than enough so let's get this dumped out yeah this time i'm not gonna go to the wrong place to dump this out let's see how much money we're gonna get from this we're still gonna go through and take care of all the straw but i think that may be all the time that we have to take care of stuff today to see how much money we gonna make so this is that's just ridiculous, man. Why does it dump out that fast? That's awesome. All right. Another 275 grand in the bank. We got 1.4 mil. I'll probably have 1.6 or 7, I would guess. After all said and done from the straw. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. This just got an update. Yo. They've got some new strobe options. I think there's an all red version. All red strobes. Yo. Gotta have it. Load it up, load it up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yep, yep, definitely. Definitely going with this one for now on. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Straw pickup looks to be about the same as it would be if I was, um, well, that was it, isn't it? Yep. Now we need to figure out the best place for it. I'm not putting it on a train. Let's take it over to Larry's. I think it's right across the street, right? Yeah, right over here. Hey. hey, hey. A whole lot easier bringing well this in there and a bunch of bells also those strobes are epic dude yeah i did not pull in the right place all right we're gonna try something here i don't know if it's gonna work and i don't know how smart or stupid it is but i just saw the train go which means that we should be able to go through right here no problems hang a right nice and back it up till we get the marker there it is Dub it out, should be almost instantaneous, and it was about 150 grand for that. Not bad, we're up to 1.6. Not quite a full low this time around, about 50%, maybe 53? Yeah, 53 and a half percent. We'll go ahead and take this, take it away, uh, 75,000, something like that. Should be good, close-ish to 1.7, but yeah, probably not quite. And I would say we did a pretty good job, getting 99% of all of the uh, wheat that was on the ground. Pretty good. I will say this, going forward, I may go back to doing some normal harvesting again uh, because I've currently watched four episodes of South Park doing that entire field. And and maybe, I'm not quite sure. I lost count. So, yeah. Dump it out. What do we get? $79,000. So, a little bit more than I was expecting to get. So, I think that's probably going to go, be good for here. Uh, next, we're going to build a BGA. Yeah, and we are back. Let's get some stuff going on today. What are we doing? Well, we're going to be harvesting some peas and then we're going to be transforming the field into our very own BGA. I feel like we've probably got enough money to do that by now. And if the one point six nine eight million dollars we have it isn't enough. Well, we'll probably have 1.7 or 1.8 by the time it's all said and done. And the great thing is no swapping today. Nothing like that. Uh, all it is is harvest time but we do need to get this header down there so unfold it this is going to be the tricky part right here though is trying to get in here with this header i'm not i'm not actually sure if, if this header is going to fit through there or not the good thing is this map allows us to delete all of our fences so if we own the, the land we can delete the fences so let's see if we can get this thing turned around yeah oh totally not a crash counter I'm definitely not crashing right now. Nope, not me. I think we may run into a little bit of trouble here with uh, with traffic. Uh, it does tend to be a little bit more difficult to deal with traffic on maps, especially this one. There we go. Get it in and fold it up. You know, I th oh, oh, get a little bit. Come on. Come on, DJ. Let's go. Yeah, did to get it. Yeah, got it. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get everything unfolded. Let's drop it out. I don't know if this drops any straw or not, but, uh, well, we have straw swath enabled just in case. You never know. You never know what might happen. Turn it on, drop it down, and go. Um, no straw swath on this crop, which makes things a little bit easier. All right. Um, peas don't give you too much money, though, so that is that at least. I think the new update for this map is going to be coming out hopefully soon. And maybe that'll be bumped, but I can't tell for sure. All I know is that at least in the first version, 
they don't they don't make you a lot of money but it is pretty cool to harvest i do know this is a small field but we're still not getting much out of it there's eleven thousand three hundred. Oh, old crash counter yep yeah, that was definitely a real one uh yeah nonetheless uh, this is gonna be fairly simple i think to fly now there are some high spots and some low spots so we do have to be careful of all of that but oh, let's go ahead and turn that off and we'll get it dropped nice unfold unfold good to go actually i want to keep this harvester unfolded because i need to find out where to deliver these gotta be honest with you none of these prices are great so we'll probably just take it somewhere where it's the easiest i believe that's a pretty easy spot to get into uh maybe maybe not i don't think i can get a... you know what we might could do this farm sim 17 taught me anything it's how to put this pipe in interesting places don't read into that. All right, I think we can make this happen, but I do think we're probably gonna have to go to the other side, although this side looks to be the easiest to reach. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the side that we have to use. Oh, this is not gonna be an easy thing to do. So let's line it up right to where as soon as I open it up, it'll go in there and then slowly back up. Come on, back up, let's go. That did not work. This, uh. This entire thing did not work. <laughs> I need a truck. Ah! Every other sign in the map. Every other sign in the map is movable. Except that one. Because of course. All right! Let's, let's try this, but probably a bit of an easier way. Definitely didn't get stuck on the way over here. Nope, not me. I would never. So probably not $100,000, especially for only 11,000 liters, but we might get 11 grand 10 grand even worse okay let's do this we'll take a look around see what maybe needs to be flattened out or at least what needs to be brought to a certain level we are going to paint everything as well so we'll have a nice uh well very nice look on everything the one thing is i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm thinking just gravel probably because i'm not sure asphalt's gonna look the greatest heading down through here but we will do this entire area right through here so this is asphalt, but it actually doesn't look bad at all. It, yeah, it looks pretty good, actually, all things considered. Yeah, I think that's what I'll go with here. Yeah, JK, coming coming from the uh, coming from the road. Yeah, gravel looks way better. And I'm just gonna kind of grab and drag all the way to the edge, and we're going to continue uh, keeping this field the same size that it is. Nice, squared off because it's a fairly square yes field. There we go. Up, up, up. Good, good, good. And we'll do this the entire way around. Okay, all of that is done. Now all we gotta do is go through and paint it in. So after it's all said and done, this is the area that we've got to work with. Of course, we have our fencing all the way around. The fencing looks good. I don't know if I wanna change it or not. However, I will say that it's only around this particular area. So we could technically delete all of this fencing and put something else down. I think we've got some other fences in here that may look okay. <laughs> Definitely got to put a DJ Go Ham and a clutch in front though. So I've always been a big fan of these right here. This is the uh, uh, it's kind of I don't I don't know the industrial look kind of bit to it. I've always really liked these that I've used to build previous maps, and I think I may do the same thing here because this just doesn't seem quite enough. So let's see if we can go through and delete all these fences. I'll just click demolish, and it's it's doing it quite slowly and now no more fences one of the great things that i love about this map is as long as you own the land you could delete the fences so we did it <laughs> and now we're gonna place more down the only problem is i think once you've put down other fences then you you can't sell the land again it is what it is it ain't no thing uh let's find ourselves some type of gate to go around and then we also need to put down well, something like this, where it's actually going to be a decently sized gate. That way you can get through it with well, just about anything. All right, that is one piece down. I think we could probably fit just about everything we need to through that one gate. Nice and easy. Now, save your game again, because you're going to run into problems if you don't. Now let's find ourselves well, all of the other stuff. So we have a smaller gate here. So we may do something with that, but let's grab this and go. doesn't need to be completely perfect. We just need to make sure that it's good enough so let's see if we could find uh just about the right spot right about there i think is about as good as it's gonna get then we need to come straight on at least until we can't go straight on anymore 
I'd say about right there is probably good. And then now I've got to kind of finagle this around the rest of the area, around the edge. Shouldn't be too difficult. And there we go. We'll do a little bit of a speed run all the way around, but we were able to make this work. And again, I think with the BGA stuff that we've got in the game, having more of an industrial-ish look to everything makes it look really nice. Plus, we're out of the way of the train. And even if we weren't, the train wouldn't care. It would still go through. And we have, of course, a gate right at the front. And the good thing is, we can also probably raise up another area and put another gate in if we need to. Now comes the fun part of trying to prepare for the future. What we need to do is jump in and we're gonna be using um, stuff from the Planet Pumps and Hoses extension. This was pretty cool uh, mod when it first dropped and I've wanted to use it ever since. So, well, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by maybe putting a few bits of bobs and pieces around. I think at least to start with, this right here would uh, actually work pretty well. Right about here-ish. Maybe something right around there. Kind of turn it off. That way it doesn't snap right into place. We can also have a couple pieces uh, coming out the side right here. Oh, and we're going to need to put two of these down. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that yet. All right, here's how I'm going to get around it. We're just going to place the front part at the front part. We've got it set to where it's not going to unsnap for anything or try and decorate anything. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to place another one pretty much right beside it. We're going to try and get as close as we possibly can right about there and line it up and get them real close. Pow, pow. Okay. There's that. Now we need to find a way to put our fermenters close to them. These are going to be a little bit more difficult, but still very, very doable. The thing with the fermenters, at least, okay, that's the power bit. There we go, the bunker. So with these, we need to find a way the how we're going to get these in there. Because because I don't know how exactly I'm going to put things into these. Yeah. Did I say fermenter? I meant bunker. Uh, the thing is, if we jump over here, we've actually got a really, really good one that comes with the pumps and hoses deal. See, this guy right here. I love this, and it works great. The issue <laughs> uh, is that it's a little bit... Uh, well, it doesn't hold much. 115,000 liters. Whereas the one that we're taking a look at right now... Oh, holds 85. Well, that sucks. I'm going to use the other one. And I also think I'm going to try and line these up straight across. They are fairly expensive, so we may just real quick take out a loan just so we can have what we want. So uh, I think I want to run five of these across the front. So we're going to need a little bit more than maybe I would like to admit. All right, so we're going to run five of these. And let's see. Let's find the perfect spot right about there. Oh, it did not click it. Let's get it close this time. How about that? Boom, 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 boom. Line it up. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Fixed it. We're good. Wha pow There we go. There's one. And then we just need to line a couple more of these up. And they're very difficult to line up properly. So I may do this off screen. There we go. Now, there is an area right in the front. You can see it is not flat whatsoever in that spot. So we are going to need to do a little bit of landscaping. So let's bring it in. Let's set it to flat. And then... We're just going to bring up this entire area and make it flat with this spot. That should make it flat-ish enough for everybody around. There we go. may even be a little bit too high, but you know what? I think it'll be just fine. Let's also bring this out towards the front just a little bit. There we go. And then we can come through and just click and hold the smooth, and this will make everything nice and easy for us. This is also the one bit that I totally forgot to do at the very beginning, was to just go through and smooth out or flatten out, but I think all of this is gonna be just fine. Let's see if we can open all of these up, and let's see where they sit. They do sit on the ground, flat-ish enough. Okay, got it. Now there's a couple more bits and bobs that we need to add here too. So let's go through those. Let's jump into productions and let's find what we need. So we could do a stationary separator, but I don't even know if we're going to run a separator or not. Uh, we've got multiple different ways to do this, but we only have $294,000 left. How much money did I spend, bro? Goodness gracious. Uh, now let's find money uh, as far as our generator. Uh, Straterran? Man, I don't know what that means. An electric storage? We had electric storage in here too? 
Look at this. Methane storage, methane sales. We got all kinds of stuff here. Do we want to use stuff from that? Or do we want to use stuff from the BGA DLC? All right, so here now I'm going through and I'm finding the extension and stuff. And uh, we definitely do not have the money for this. $550,000 for that. But we need that part to be able to make us money. So uh, I'm going to increase our loan up to $1 million. Hopefully we'll make it back. $1 million loan later. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just use the, the largest one that we've got. This should give us the most amount of money as well. So that is good. And I don't actually know where I want to put this. Maybe right up here, just right beside the edge. We don't need this for anything. It's going to directly send everything over to it anyway. So maybe we just put it here and be done with it. Wow. Got it. Cool. And so now it should know that it's a part of it. Yes, it does. It's at recognize again. All of this is going well. There's a couple other things we need to do, including some fire. We also need to run some methane uh, torches here. Uh, I think I'm going to run these at the very front. I just think it would look awesome if you pulled in and they're just like going. Yeah, there you go. We got two of them and they're both recognized. So this is the only other bit that I could add. The issue is I never used it for anything. So I don't think I'm going to start now. <laughs> so I think at least to get started, this is our bits right here. We've got places to put in slurry. We've also got places to put in all of our other stuff. And we've got something that should make us a little bit of cash money. So let's come in here. Torches, they're burning 90% of the meth. Well, good, because we haven't done anything with them. We got our power plant itself. And then we have the fermenter. So let's fill it up oh yeah there's also one other thing we need to place down something to get digestate out of here this is a great time to showcase another piece the liquid silo extension it needs to be placed to next to a silo okay fine uh this is these guys the liquid storage mod this is epic because what this allows us to do is actually take uh all the digestate that comes out of there and it will send it literally to this thing right here. So I'm just going to put it right here for now. Right about there. How's that look good? Does that look good to you guys? Yeah, I think it'll work. Wha bam And then I'm going to put a silo extension right beside it as well. And we'll go ahead and make sure that that's leveled out. And put it right here. Perfect. That'll give us, I think it's what? 10 million? Yeah, 10 million liters of digestate storage. And it should recognize it as well, which it does. Oh, yeah. Let's get to moving, man. Let's do... Oh, I've already crashed. <laughs> of course I have. What we need is some type of liquid tank to get our uh, slurry out. And we need to get this manure moving as well. That's a tree. You know what? This tree's been in my way a long time. Oh, I think my game almost crashed. Yo, that's not good. That's not good at all. Save, 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 save. So maybe I bought some new toys. <laughs> I had to, man. I had to. So we went with the uh, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, looks great. TLX Phoenix. I did go with the Trilex Chrome Wheels because I feel like they look epic. And we went with 82 Studios TLX 48 foot tanker trailer with the unrealistic capacity. It's still going to take a little while to load up, but uh, should be good to go. And if I remember correctly, I believe this tank, if I'm going to get lined up appropriately, there we go. Uh, should give me plenty of slurry. Perfect. All right. Well, that shouldn't take too long to load up. And I got 150,000 liters right here. But I might end up converting this setup into more of a I want to hold more than this setup. I'll sh maybe show you what I mean. We'll find out. Ooh-wee. Even with that Jake break pulling in, man, everything sounds super, super good. So we can pull in here without actually hitting anything. We have done a great job of that. And we'll go ahead and open these guys up as well. Now we need silage. We have silage, but we need silage slurry. We also need manure and cut sugar beets in order for this to run appropriately the right way. I do want to double check and make sure everything's turned on at least. So uh, we'll go ahead and activate and activate. So now things are just missing, and I've got everything set to distributing as well. So we'll pull in here. We can hold up to, let's see, 
86,000 liters of cut sugar beets. I could actually buy that for 85 grand, which I'm not sure would pay off in the long run. Silage we have, manure we have, slurry we have. So we need to find a way to get some cut sugar beets. Slurry's coming in, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit. No, I didn't hit. All right, well, that works. Works for me. We'll bring it around here. We'll get everything unfolded. I don't think I need to unfold this to unload it, but all right, I think it looks pretty cool. Bring it here. There we go. Click unload. Uh, it's not going to hold too much, 160,000, so about half of what we've got. But I think we're we're kind of on a good track right now, so this is good. Uh, we got manure here, so let's go ahead and get this to dump out there. And then I'm going to reset my buy point here because we're going to modify the Mac Superliner that we've got and the other stuff. So I need to double check with Matilex stuff here. Where is my trailer at. So basically as it sits, with this thing at least, uh, we're gonna need to fill at least a couple of these with manure, which is funny. I've I've dumped manure in there, but it's not showing that any of it exists. I guess it's gotta process it. So I would say we probably need to do one cut sugar bead, two manure, and maybe three silage for it to even run properly. But I've already messed with that a little bit too much. You know what, let's just take like a mental break. And we'll come back because I may end up getting rid of these trucks and go with something else. I just had another idea. So here's how I've got everything set up. I had at one point right before this anyway, uh, I had that little dump bed on the very back. But as we progress along, we need to be able to carry more and more at the same time. So what I've done is converted this up and we've gone for the tried and true TLX bed on the back. This should be more than enough to carry everything. I do need to double check my trailer a little bit to make sure I got enough horsepower to pull this, but I think both of these trucks together look fantastic. I'm gonna do my best to load up this BGA and we'll see what we can do. So, bit of a problem already, of course. Um, I don't have any silage left, so I'm gonna have to buy some. And we're gonna have to buy it through 82 Studios mod and we've only got about 20 grand left, so, uh, yeah, I don't actually know how well this is going to go. Uh, there's uh, 50. Oh, boy. I think I think I might be able to spend about 10 grand on this, but, I mean, we're already a mill in the hole right now. Oh, uh, so exciting. Yeah. Oh, boy. And silage in. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to make some of that. The good thing is, well, we've got grass, so we'll be fine there. Uh, I think one of the biggest issues, though, is going to be can we feed the cattle that we have and still be okay? I, I don't actually know the answer to that question. Uh, let's go ahead and place down, while we're here, we'll place down one of those buy anything stations that 82 Studios got. I believe it's a containers. Yeah, one of these bad boys right here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I want it to be, just for the simple fact that we barely have any money left. Because <laughs> I did a great job and... and uh, well, I just did a great job. We'll put it that way and be done with it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't want to put it there because I'm going to have to go all the way through. And Oh, I actually don't know where I want to put this. Huh. You know what? For now, let's just put it directly straight across from the entry. At least there. Well, we don't have to worry too much. And now I guess I'll just spend the rest of my money on uh, cut sugar beet. <laughs> Seems silly, but hey, at least we'll have a full set. Oh no, cut sugar beets are expensive. Uh, I guess we're going down to zero dollars. Sorry, negative 18. Even, even better. <laughs> All right, back it up, dump it in. And then we should probably hide and try to make money. Oh boy, oh boy. There we go, dump it in. Be done with it. Please be good. Just, just take it. There we go away slowly i don't exist pull away slowly the good thing is at least with the milk and everything that we've got we're pretty okay i'm also going to go ahead and activate a few other things in here so cheese and butter this will at least help us make a little bit extra cash with everything so all that milk should uh, go through perfectly fine again fermenting silo there's nothing in there and then our power plant hasn't started running yet but time's also set to zero so what i'm gonna do is at least fast forward time. Do need to check the animals just to make sure. Oh, pfft, they're going to be just fine. Uh, let's fast forward today and we'll see kind of what happens into September. I definitely made a mistake because it is spawning the butter. Oh boy. 
Yeah. So, uh, we did okay. We made some, we made a good amount of money. However, there is a bit of a, a problem. I accidentally set this to spawn. And we've currently got 100,000 liters of butter in there. I, I'm just gonna go hide. Well, one good thing I was able to go through and set it to not do that ever again. So we've got everything set to selling now. Now, of course, the uh, production chain stuff, that's gonna be set to spawn. All this stuff is set to sell. And then all these are set to do what I need them to do. Also, they're running! Yeah, it's running! So I went ahead and brought the rest of the manure down. Figured, well, why not? What's it gonna hurt? Also, uh, because this is the primary I actually had to come over here and dump in there because this will fill up, but only as much as it has. But the main will fill up with both. It's, it's interesting, but it works. So what are you going to do? <laughs> the good thing is we've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all four categories. We should be able to make some decent money at least into the next day. And, and uh, we're, we're going to do all of that all over again because <laughs> I just came back into the game real quick from a game save. Are we good? I think we're good. All right. So everybody's up and running. We've got our uh, bits down here working well. Cogeneration plan is running. So what we need to do now is we need to find ourselves some grass um, because we have got literally like nothing else. I need silage. I need hay. I need all of these things. Yo, are those wheels going backwards? When they're going this way, they're fine, but Oh, that's fun. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, we need to be able to get this and go mow a little bit of land. Uh, we may end up selling these bits right here and trading them out for bigger mowers, something like that. But you know what? These work really well. So why change, right? All right, let's see if we can change our working width or working area. Kick it over to the left. Good call there. All right, I think we're good. We just got a few fields that we need to do. That's it. I did fertilize these fields, right? I don't, I don't trust myself. Hang on, select the grass, go in here. Okay, I did. Yeah, well, <laughs> like an idiot, I just tried to hire a worker on this guy because you can, and it didn't. Look at this, AI worker swat there has stopped because unexpectedly not enough money. Well, I don't think anybody ever expects that, do they? <laughs> So the swathing is done. I went ahead and took a little bit of opportunity to do stuff off screen. And of course I'm watching South Park again, like always today. Let's find ourselves a tractor. There it is, got it. We need to pick up all this grass and then just like always before, we're gonna toss it in our silo, turn this into grass and silage. Did I say grass? Hay, we're turning it into hay and silage, but both of them. Leave me alone. So here we go. We've done much, much better than we normally do. Generally, we get between two and 300,000 liters with these new setups and how much we've torn out of these fields. We're at 461,000 liters. So we'll put this in. We will need to get some silage out of this eventually, but we're going to have to wait. Also, we're going to have to wait another day in game at least to go plant. I don't have any money. I'm negative $18 plus a $1 million loan. I owe a lot of people a lot of money and... <laughs> And I just went and saw John Wick 4. And and I just feel real uncomfortable playing Farming Simulator being in debt to an imaginary thing right now. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Seems like a great idea. All right, we are now into the next day and boy oh boy, do we have some money. $711,000 in September, baby, yeah. There are a few things that uh, well, we need to maybe take a look at. For example, we're still making money. We got sugar beets in there, silage is in there, manures up to the top and slurries up to the top. Uh, digestate is distributing right now. However, uh, it is almost maxed out and I gotta figure out <clears throat> why um maybe spawn distributing oh it just went away so i guess we'll try and find it later uh, as far as everything else up here we're still doing good we got a lot of milk and then we've got all of our grass has turned into silage and hay so that's there now but that's not the only thing because we've got tmr that is just kind of chillaxing in here we actually have a lot of tmr in here chilling right now uh let's see take a look tmr 91,000 liters. We also have 834,000 liters of straw. So way more than we need there. Taking a look at our cattle, seeing how much they need and what they need. Of course, you can see here, 
they have had some babies. Yes, they have. So uh, they're taking in the food, and it's still a lot. I don't really need to mess with that, I don't think. So this means a couple things. Number one, the silage is going to come back over here because the BGA is making us the money. The digestate that we have needs to be sold somewhere. We're not gonna use it for anything, so we just gotta sell it. Thirdly, we need to fertilize our field and we need to plant something new. I'm thinking canola uh, or more than likely, soybeans fortunately it's a big square at this point so i don't think it's gonna be that difficult to do oh it sounds so good yeah <laughs> slow it down all right silage is going in and all of this all of this 100 is going to be going to the bga let's turn that on real quick let the truck warm up i want to know is the digestate moving over here yes yes it is it is moving over there there's not a lot of it but it is moving so that makes me happy and, and I guess we could probably turn this off because it's not going to do much for us. I do want to check and see the silo, uh, how much we got. Slurry is still just completely maxed out, so there's no point to do anything with all that. I will say, hey, if you're going to build a BGA, this was a pretty good place for... Oh, I'm not going to be able to make that. Nope. Crash counter plus four million, I think, is the number that we're looking at here. Uh, we'll go ahead and dump this in here. We'll dump the silage in. Should be okay... Honestly, we may be a little bit overboard with how much silage we've got. We also need to get some cut sugar beet. Uh, I don't I don't know how we're going to manage the cut sugar beet. This is going to dump this out pretty quickly. Uh, but a cut sugar beet, we need some because it's going to run out very quickly. So is the silage. It's going to run out very quickly as well. I just don't think we've got enough here. If you put all those bits in there, including those cut sugar beets, man, oh man, it doesn't take no time at all to get all this done. All right, so I don't think we're gonna be able to dump the rest of the silage in here. I think we may have to take this back and put it back in a silo somewhere because there's just nothing that we could do with it here. Because I need this full of cut sugar beets, at least full-ish, maybe $100,000 worth, something like that. Something else I need to do, money. Uh, we got a $1 million loan. Let's pay back at least half of that. Actually, we could also just put a silo down here to make things easier for ourselves. And honestly, I'm not sure we would even need this silo right here to do much of anything. Eh, check this out. Again, we'll go with this silo because I love this silo specifically right here. And eh, we can get it close-ish right there. Kaboom. And now it should also register that it exists and it does underground storage store everything and another thing that's really cool both of these silo mods will work together just like they're working on the other farm which is kind of nice so we'll put the i might i might should bring the ground up a little bit make it a little bit easier on myself there we go that's that's gonna make things a little easier i should also bring up around at least part of the area that way we can come through here and smooth out these areas so they work well and look good, but can still go over this grading. Yeah. I know these silos hold 115,000 liters. So what I need to do is find out how profitable getting a certain amount of cut sugar beets is. I know it's gonna be much cheaper to do it this way. I don't like it, but it's still gonna work. So there's, okay, so it's about $10,000 per or almost $11,000. So we're going to spend about $22,000 total. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, this is just so expensive. I need to make these. All right, so now I think I'm about $12,000, uh, $23,000 in a hole for cut sugar beets. I should definitely, definitely plant a sugar beet field and just be done with it. Maybe that's what we should do for this next round. Do half the field in grass and half the field in sugar beet. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's not a bad idea at all. We don't need uh, any, I guess, money money. And we do have a Colossus. Huh. I mean, that could work. Mm, I really don't want to do an entire field of sugar beets, though. Maybe we'll find a smaller one. Since it seems like the things we need right now are sugar beets so that we can cut them up and some grass, what I think I'm going to do, at least with this field, is I'm going to run kind of up and down the middle, maybe about halfway, something like that, something where I know we're gonna get plenty of cut sugar beets off of the other side. So probably we'll go like all the way here, all the way to here, and then maybe hire a worker 
and do the right side in sugar beet, do the left side in grass. That way we should have plenty to go around at least silage and cut sugar beets for a long time. Maybe two or three days. Well, I say a long time. A couple days in game. Something like that. At least until we can make some extra money to rebuild up this area. Now, of course, we do have this area down here, which I could easily do in sugar beets. It'd be just fine. But, well, where's the fun in that? So, that's what we're going to do. And uh, come back, uh, come back for the next one because... It's gonna be a fun one. Welcome back to Edgewater Saskatchewan. Today, we're gonna be getting a little bit of planting done. We've already got our fertilizer out in the field. We are on the big field right now. Everything is rocking and rolling, looking good. He's putting down the first layer of fertilizer. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is jump in. Half of this field is gonna be grass and the other half of the field is going to be sugar beets. The reason for this is because everything down here at our new BGA is, well, we're just not able to get everything we need. I need extra silage and I need extra cut sugar baits. Now we've got plenty of manure and plenty of slurry. The cattle are handling that uh, dutifully. However, we need a little bit of extra help, which is why we need, well, maybe one run of the big field. One of the good things is we already have something that could be of big, big benefit to us, which is the Colossus Harvester. Yeah, I know it only runs at about four meters, but I feel like we could still get some, uh, get a lot of work done on that field with that. So we could definitely use a good amount of grass, but we already have two fields rocking that. So I say that we get as many sugar beets as possible. So what I'm thinking is doing sugar beets basically from this side of the field all the way to like this little spot right here. And whenever I go forward, I'll just find a spot and hire a worker. And then we'll go straight up and it should cut this field not quite in half. It's going to be a lot more on the right side versus the left. But all of that will be sugar beets. And then everything on this side will then become grass or well, plant grass anyway. Shouldn't take us too long. This cedar really, really does its trick. I'm using the largest case uh, planter in the early riser planter pack. But I, I, I modified it a little bit. It holds 10,000 liters of seed now. And we're using fast farming or real speed limit mod uh, to make it all happen. So drop it down, turn it on, and rock and roll. Sugar beets are going in. Oh, I don't, I'm not quite sure if I've even done a sugar beet harvest in Farming Simulator 22 yet. And it's been out for a year and a half at this point. Oh boy. Well, should be fun, right? Yay. If you're playing along at home or if you're doing things similar to the way that I am, one thing that I found is when I get down here near the end, uh, it doesn't like to stop very much. This is a great tractor, but I think it might need a little bit better brakes if we're going to be going that fast. So bring it over to here, bring it down, drop it down in. Good. There we go. Uh, too many times I've gotten stuck in the trees right there. And I really don't want to do that today. I just don't want to deal with that. So we're just not going to. And here's the spot I was talking to you guys about. We're going to get to about right here. Spin it around. Get it lined up ish. About like that. And then hire a worker. This will uh, get us all the way down. And then we'll probably hit one or two headlands at the top and the bottom. Just so the worker can get himself turned around. But other than that... Yeah, not uh, not bad. Is that guy working? Yeah, he's working. All right. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Please, please keep being good. Please keep doing your work. Get near the end and fire worker. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. There we go. All right. So it looks like the uh, Magnum. Oh, no, I'm in the Magnum right now. We're good. Drop it down. Turn it on and drive forward. This is going to be a pretty hard break in the field. So let's see if we can make that happen. Got it. Perfect. Now, just a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, and then this worker will be able to do his own thing. Uh, I will hire it on this side, though. Here's what I'm talking about. So right here, if I hire this worker here, he'll go this way. If I hire him here, he'll go this way and might end up doing the whole field. I don't want that. Down at the bottom, and we have swung it around. Come up through here. Spin it around the other side. So that way I've got three headlands at the top and the bottom and should be more than enough room for this worker to turn around. I tell you what, do it fast farming, man. It makes it so much easier to get stuff done. I know it's kind of cheating, but when you got to record two or three of these videos in a day, plus news and mods, it's, it's a lot easier when it doesn't take all day long. And while we're at it, I could probably just go in fire dude right here and find grass. There it is. 
And I could probably go ahead and hit this other side real quick and just plant some grass and get that uh, at least either lined up or, or completely finished. Maybe be able to completely finish this. We do need to go down again in a straight line. We need to make sure that this is good. So about right there. Drop it down. Turn it on. And a higher worker. So it should take away just a little bit of the pink right there on the edge, but uh, that'll give us our grass. And the good thing is too, we can hire our worker on the fertilizer and it'll still fertilize this entire field. I don't know if this is something that's done in real life and I don't even know if this is a smart thing to do with farming simulator or not, but grass harvesters can't cut sugar beets and sugar beet harvesters can't cut grass. So if it's gonna work on anything, it'll work well on these fields. Ooh, that's a lot of bumps. There we go. No more bumps. Almost done with this little section over here on the other side. And then, well, we're going to let the worker do his thing. I'll probably come through with the fertilizer sprayer myself and just hit a few spots on the outsides. That way, once everything's ready to go, the worker can take over. Now, to reset this for sugar beets. There we go. And I probably need to give it some seeds as well. Oop, I just emptied it. Uh, and I'm totally not cheating. Nope. Not me. So now everything is done, at least in the field, and we kind of have a lot of waiting time to do. So you can see how much we've got going on here, how much is sugar beets versus how much is grass, and then whatever we do next, we'll just do the whole thing in the same crop, and that'll be fine. May even be a good idea to do a uh, corn chaff harvest and do the entire thing in silage. Maybe that's an option as well. We could do that. We could do that. But I think at least for now, we do need to double check and make sure that everything is done. It's good. And it's ready to go. So taking a look at our cattle first. How are we doing here? Uh, straw could use a little bit. We're about 50% and TMR. We could definitely use a little bit of that as well. So let's jump in here and we'll make that happen. Straw first. I think it holds, what is it, a hundred something thousand? I don't know. There's 130,000 in there already. So that's probably going to be more than enough. Oh, that's flag straw. Why do I have flag straw? Hang on a minute. Also, interestingly, it just converted that is super weird uh it just took the straw the regular straw out and turned it into flax straw which actually sells for less i think so um you know that sucks and did it again look at this so uh fill vehicle check this out set it to straw and it's flax straw boo well at least we got ninety-one thousand liters of tmr left and that'll be more than good okay Cattle are done. Everything's ready to go. Milk is good. Slurry is good. Food is near-ish enough to the top. Straw is up as well. And we've still got a half a million dollar loan. We're going to make a lot of money overnight. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is pay off as much of that as possible. That way we get as little of them taking our money back as we can. There we go. And we have done well. Very well indeed. Uh, $902,000 overnight. You gotta love the BGA. The BGA just makes so much stupid money immediately, which is great for us. So let's go ahead in here and let's go ahead and pay off the rest of this interest. It'll be good to go. Um, speaking of interest, I would love to find out how much interest we've actually paid out. Water costs, let's see, harvest income, miscellaneous, loan interest. Here we go. Okay, so we only paid... Was that like forty three hundred dollars, something like that? You know what? For for what it allowed us to do, totally worth it. So we've got another problem, unfortunately. So we have silage in here, which is doing just fine, but we have an overflow of sugar beet and manure and slurry, just a complete over doingness of it also digestate. I'm not quite sure how digestate's going right now. Supposedly it says we only have nine thousand liters in there. Not uh. Not quite sure why that is, but uh, there we go. Also, it doesn't say anything about the cogeneration plant running, but well, we're making nine hundred thousand dollars in a night, so I think we're doing okay. Yeah, that BGA is doing pretty good for us. It made six hundred seventy-six thousand dollars yesterday, and we've also got two hundred seventy-two thousand dollars already by nine a.m. We need more silage, man. I will say this field right here, though, uh, that turned out phenomenal look at this look at the just the straight line break between sugar beets and grass all the way down that's pretty cool you gotta give it up a little bit to that i think i messed it up just a hair down there at the end yeah it, uh, it overlaps a bit but you know what that's fine um speaking of fine check this out 
So, filled right beside us, right? Grass filled, ready to be harvested, ready to go from Leroy Wilson. Um, I need more grass. Is this field has the grass. I think I think I may I think I may steal all the grass from this field, but I think what we'll have to do is buy it. Land has been purchased. I've also thought about buying the field down at the bottom as well. Kind of back and forth about it, but for now I think we just get our mower and get some work done. Rock and roll time, baby! Rock and roll. Let's do it. So we've got a full field with grass. Uh, we are going to keep this field as well, so I'm not just going to utilize it for all of its resources and then get rid of it. Well, we got a new field now, and hopefully it's close to other fields that I can do. Why am I going so slow? Activate fast farming and zoomies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hopefully there's some fields close ish enough to us that we can expand a little bit. I think this is actually part of like a, a big block. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's actually a, a farm right here. I believe it's a cattle farm. And then we could also expand it to right about there and actually make all of those one big field. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the third uh, the third season of uh, this Let's Play. That might be a little bit much. One thing I wanted to do before we jumped in here and start picking up this grass was to make sure that the production chain that does the hay was turned off. We have 380,000 liters of hay in there right now, and I I think that might be my fault. There's no way we had twice that much. The worker's actually doing a really good job of this field. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be worker-friendly or not, but you know what? It's not turned out bad. Not at all, dude. Not at all. So I'm just going to go around. We'll pick up our headline and everything else and see how long it takes us to get all of this grass up. Hopefully it's a good amount as well. Ooh, we already got 30,000. That's great. And we're done. Kind of dish. Uh, we've got everything picked up. It is a little bit dark at 9 a.m. in October. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Currently it's, uh, what is it? 10 a.m. in April. IRL. Yeah. But strobe lights. Ha 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 ha. Well, crap, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, crop destruction's off. I learned something today. Half a million liters of grass in, and we should get half a million. I'm going too fast. Half a million liters of uh, stuff out. I don't know. Let's poke around and see what we got. It's not moving yet, so I think we need to start the timer. Yeah, there's 2,000 liters already of times three. Yeah, this ain't gonna take long at all. It took 22 minutes in game to make all of that into silage. I love cheating, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get all this silage put in here. We're gonna take it down to the BGA and that should be about all for today. So I'm actually looking at this going, uh, I think I made too much silage as a matter of fact. So that field may have been just a little bit too big. We've got way too much manure in here still. So we're gonna drop off the silage in three of these and we do need to kind of do a little bit of a refill maybe on the cut sugar beet maybe not I'm not I'm not quite sure I know we've got plenty in there and we've got a little bit left so maybe we'll just hope that the silage does everything and then we can fast forward into the next day in game October and or November uh, should be about ready to harvest that other grass field but we also may have to wait until we get into the spring. Well, unfortunately, it didn't take it all. So we're just going to drop a little bit of silage in here. There we go. Boop. Just like so. We'll take a look and see what's in there. Oh, did I have silage in there already? I think I had silage in there already. Oops. And we are back. It is episode 19 time. Yes, sir. So here is what is going to be going on. We've got two more episodes in this uh, series number two. And then I think we're going to be rounding out with uh, episodes 21 through 30, which is going to be fantastic. We're just going to take over everything. But in the meantime, we need to make some plans for winter because it is currently... October and uh well our crops are definitely not going to be ready to go by then so uh, what I've done is I have spent a little bit of money and we've just kind of purchased a whole lot of TMR what I did was I was able to go in here get all of the hay that we had then I bought a bunch of straw or I <laughs> bought a bunch of silage and then I used the flax straw that was in here because for some reason on this map anyway with feed mixers flax straw is used instead of regular straw at least in this feed mixer so that's what i've done we're still going to be making a ton of money plus all the way down here uh yeah this is going to do just fine for us i'm going to keep you guys updated daily and then once we get into the end of the year then it's going to be getting really really close to 
a big old harvest over there. And we get to use the Colossus. Whoop, whoop. And here we are the next day in game. And as you can see, we made a little bit of money, about uh, $1.1 million. Uh, we are running a little bit low when it comes to cut sugar beets. And, uh, well, that silo, whatever was in it, is just completely empty. But the good thing is, we've got a whole bunch of money, and we have a $0 loan. So pretty much whatever is good. So you can see in here, uh, 686000 right there for sold products, and there as well. I uh, Jump it all down just a little bit, I guess. Uh, plant income, we made a little bit of cash off of that. There's, there's just... There's just so much money coming in right now. We're going to be able to do pretty much whatever we want. I do need to check on the animal real quick. And I think they're doing just fine. And here we are again in December. 2.6 million now. I'm going to guess that our production chains are probably running a little bit dry. Uh, we've still got cut sugar beets, which are doing okay. But that's going to run out fairly soon. As a matter of fact, a lot of that's going to run out fairly soon. Over here, we've got a little bit of manure left. We've got a ton of silage there, and we've got some more manure there. We don't need any more manure, but we do need some more silage and cut sugar beets, at least today. So, we'll jump in here. We'll turn the lights on. Ooh, I do love the way this thing looks and sounds. And we're going to buy ourselves some silage and buy ourselves some cut sugar beet. I can't remember if these hold 130,000 or 115,000. I guess we're going to find out here momentarily. We should probably cut some more lights on. It's a little bit dim here. Well, that's totally fine. We'll dump this out and see. Is this going to fill it all the way up or just a little bit? Fills it all the way up just about right to it. So it is 115,000 liters in there. Yeah, 115. That's my bad. The good thing is, at least with the way these are set up, you can literally just dump whatever you want into each one, and they'll all take it. I've gotten everything filled up now, but we still need to do a little bit more, and that's gonna involve this guy. Fortunately for us, we still have a bunch of slurry left in here from the last time we came down, so that's nice and easy. But I do need to fill this up just a little bit. This one on the left is going to be our primary, so that's where we're gonna have to drop it all off but we should be good to go. Just back it up until we get the thing. There it is and dump it out. Now we can take a look here, take a look at our fermenter. That is going up, good to see. And if we jump in here and take a look, that is going up as well, good to see. Digestate, uh, not too bad. The thing is digestate goes up very, very fast and it's supposed to be going over here. Oh. Oh, like 14,000 went in there and the rest of the digestate's going in that. Ah, I'm not sure we need both of those. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I may as well just go ahead and keep the animal feed topped off just in case. That way they can keep up high. And I think we should be good to go at least another little bit in. I uh, might take the uh, dairy because this keeps going up daily. So I'm going to upgrade that by two and just see, did that help at all? Or is that going to make everything even worse? You know what? Why don't we just upgrade it one more time? Let's, let's upgrade it. Oh, it's already in level three. Let's just leave that there then. I think I may have overdone it just a little bit. We're now at $4.1 million. And that's dangerous, but we do have snow everywhere. So that's kind of cool. We'll take a look, double check, make sure everything's good, ready to go. Looks like everybody down there is all right. We'll do a little pop around and go and fill that up. But uh, I think, yeah, we're probably good for another day or two in game. We're gonna have way, way too much money. I think it's the, the terminology for that. Way too much money, way too much in general. So we'll probably wait until we get into, I think it's uh, March or April, whenever everything's gonna be nice and ready to go. And then we'll start preparing our harvest. While we're at it, why don't we come in here and maybe place down another cogen plant? Uh, we, we've got a, or not cogen plant, we, we've got a, a BGA thing, that thingy over there. It's doing good so far, but I feel like possibly we could do even more. So I'm just going to go in here and, and delete some of the snow. By the way, this is I delete snow if you really want to. You just go into this tool and flatten everything out and you should be good to go from there. I'm going to get doo -doo 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 -doo, another one of these, maybe even two. This is probably a good, as, a good place as any back here. I'm very back, put one about right there and we'll do... Another one to the side of it, just in line. Actually, I need to find out how in line it is. 
and then get it completely perfectly lined up. Yeah, I don't think we're actually going to be able to perfectly line it up, but I think that's about as good as it's going to get right there. So that cost us $1.1 million. Is it going to pay off? Yeah, I'd say that worked just fine. We got $1.7 million. <laughs> or, yeah. Overnight, I, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, torches uh, are active, but they're down. Cogent plants are running at their limit, but as they should. I mean, we've got everything there. Actually, I probably could have put a cogent plant over there and done a little bit better. We processed this stuff three times better. We'll go ahead and turn this on. I'm just going to kind of make my rounds here, feed the animals. It's in February right now. I don't see this happening in March. I'm overdoing it. We're overdoing it. <laughs> I made too much money. Um, yeah, we've uh, currently got 6.3 mil. My bad. I'm just, just spending money, man. Dude, you could really invest half a million dollars into a BGA and then turn right back around and make it all back in a day or two. It's kind of ridiculous. So I need silage. I need silage bad. I need silage to fill out two of these. So I need at least 230,000 liters. Uh, it's going to be expensive, but I'm a billionaire don't matter so there's another thing we've got silage in there now and we've got our cut sugar beads and everything but we need manure and i know some cows that have made some the only thing is we may get stuck in here <laughs> edgewater's got a really really good snow mask i mean it's incredible but boy oh boy <laughs> do i have the wrong oh it sounds so good uh, boy oh boy do i have the wrong truck for this job though easy back it in no problems no problems. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Hoorah. And here we are, the moment of truth in April. Uh, heads up, if you've had a lot of snow and you've driven on it, just get in, get in your vehicles. Get in, get in all your vehicles. Get in the stuff and make sure that the snow is gone from below it. So we'll come in here. We'll go ahead and unload a few of these things. We made even more money. We're at 7.9 mil now. Yeet. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. I might go ahead and go fill up this with slurry just because why not? And then we need to take a look at our fields and see, are we grown? Are we ready? And that answer is a resounding yes. Remove foliage is there, baby. So we may get some of that done today, but we will definitely get our equipment for it. And because of how much money we've got, I think I may just buy it. One thing that I've kind of uh, neglected a bit is the straw for the cattle. Totally forgot. Oh yeah, and we've got all that uh, flax straw as well. I may hang on to it because it's good for uh, uh, something. Yep, <laughs> it's good for something. There we go, all right, dumped in, that's full. Bring it around town. Now let's have a little bit of fun. We need to find ourselves something to harvest these beets with. And we could probably get two of these. I think maybe that might be a good idea if we do that. I'm just gonna lease them because there's no point to do anything else. So let's go all the way up. I'm, I'm not, I'm actually not sure spikes are the best idea, but I would like to go with some type of like really, really interesting wheel setup. I kind of like those Nokia and Ground Kings. They look really, really good. Uh, we're running, I think it's Michelin on everything else that we've got. So maybe just some big old Michelin tires, something like that, but yeah. Definitely going with something a little bit interesting, faux show. So, Ground King it is. As far as extra lighting, let's just go with all. I think that's the best way to go there. Um, and then let's do one of these that is set with toothpaste tractor. So, all the way. So, this is going to be basically the most toothpaste tractor thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, and then underglow, I guess blue underglow for that would look good. Capacity. Uh, beat standard, potato, both unrealistic. I think both unrealistic is the way we want to go here. 253,000 liters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toothpaste tractor all the... Oh, that, <laughs> that was more than I was expecting. <laughs> and for our second one, we're going to go with a neon blue. Now, I need headers for these. We need these sugar beet headers, these guys right here. So we'll go through and make these same color. Actually, I totally forgot. You have to go with the unrealistic. So if you're going to be using this mod, you definitely need to go with that. So let's go ahead and return that single header that we've got and go back in here and find that unrealistic header. There it is. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yeah. And oh, it's oh, that's right. The LED lines uh, around it. So I changed one of them to blue and one of them to green. So it actually glows in a completely different color than it's supposed to. 
but I don't know. I thought it kind of looked neat. I don't know if it does or not, but it's different. So that's that's cool. Man, a little little difficult to get everything picked up and put together right through there, but whatever, it works. I don't know if I recommend first person or not. It's it's very green. Due to the setup here, we are probably going to need to run a few different uh, a few different bits. We're probably going to need to run at least gosh, I don't know, five or six headlands down here at the bottom, back and forth, back and forth. We will go through, double check, just to make sure that we've got everything we own. Uh, all wheel steering, I do prefer that, so we will take that, drop it down, turn it on, cut some lights on around just so we can see what we're doing here, and sugar beets are going in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And because this is super fast and super modified, and actually, probably run this first person, yeah, I may have should have gone with a clear glass option there so I could actually see, but nonetheless, uh, this will work just fine. I do also need to be careful because I'm pretty sure crop destruction is turned on. So I need to be careful with myself. Guess there is one way around that. Oh, crop destruction is off. I must have done that previously because I didn't do that now. Nice, okay. So I'm just gonna go back and forth and try and hit uh, this entire area uh, a couple times back and forth just to see what uh, what kind of trouble I can get myself into here. I think I've probably done enough here. We got ninety thousand <laughs> liters in, the, in Adelaide. I don't I don't know how many I've, I've run down here at the end, but is this an end row or a headland? You know, I don't I don't I don't know. They're they're it's fine. Whatever, it's totally fine. I'm gonna hit a couple little spots that I missed because of course I missed a few little bits of bobs here and there. Boom, boom, and boom. Got it, all right. Now we just need to do the same thing on the other end, and I think I want to use the blue one for that. I wonder if I could just swing in here without slowing down. I did, I did, I slowed down, I cheated, I, I cheated. All right, let's see how many times I have to go back and forth down here. I think I got about 90,000 liters down there. Uh, we've got a pretty even spread down here, so... Maybe you get about 90,000 liters here too. Well, we got about this much. I, I think down at the other end, there's a little bit more, but I think this is probably enough for this guy to turn around. So let's get it all lined up. Nice and easy and hire a worker. Let's see how bad this is gonna be. I do believe that this goes into like a full fledged, like everything turns mode. Probably see from the front if it needs to turn a little bit. Well, nope, don't see anything. Nonetheless, it is a book in it all the way down. Yeah. And again, you could use these harvesters on all platforms. Uh, they work for everything, which is really, really cool. And they are just moving. I'm going to have to find something else to cart with because these things are going. Yeah. You. <laughs> all right. Let's do that. And uh, let's hire a worker on this guy as well. Nice, nice. 90,000 liters there, 98,000 liters there, and he's gonna take a million years to turn around. Perfect. And uh, to end it out, I think I'm gonna try and catch up to this guy and do a little bit of karting. They go 42, 43 miles an hour, and I'm going 96, which is twice that, but I am having a hard time keeping up. All right, let's get it to pop out. It's gonna hit the brakes real quick as such. There it is. And we'll get it to unload. I don't know how fast this unloads. So it's quick, it's just not insane. What I may have to do is go through and actually make this to where it'll unload just a little bit faster. Cause it ain't, uh, it ain't, uh, it ain't doing it. It ain't doing it, it's, it's quick. It's just not as quick as I want it to be. Oh yeah, this is a, this is still here too. There's a, there's a lot of stuff, man. There's a whole lot of stuff. Where's my truck? There it is. All right, one unloaded. We've got uh, 171,000 liters in here. And we're going to go to see if we can catch up with this dude over here. And uh, go for it as well. Ooh, he's already 80%. We'll see if we can catch up. Hopefully, that won't be too bad. Yeah, bro, boy. That was about to be bad. You know what? Let's just fire him. Let's boom the, boom out the, the thing. There we go. And I'm just going to dump this manually. All right. There we go. Uh, but how I'm going to turn all these into cut sugar beets is actually going to be kind of cool. But I got to wait till next time to tell you. Show you? 
So yeah. Yeah, that's the right word. Times are coming to an end, at least in series two of Edgewater Saskatchewan. Today, we're gonna be finishing up series two and preparing for what we're gonna be getting into in series three. Series one was more like, yeah, let's not cheat so much. Series two has, well, we have $7.8 million. Um, I didn't cheat, I'm <laughs> just, we did really good. Uh, series three, I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Should we take over the whole map? Should we do anything like that? Hey, let me know. What I'm doing now is I'm emptying out all of the sugar beets that we got from the last episode. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already. We've also got a couple guys in the field, so we're gonna go ahead and turn these guys on and hire them up on some workers and let them rock and roll. So that is happening there. Good to go, awesome, awesome. And by the way, everything that you see, at least with these guys, yeah, it's not cheaty. It, it's it's literally just happening. It's ridiculous is what it is. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it, I love it, I love it. So that's at least uh, one step. We'll go ahead and put this guy back out there and get ready. We also need to get some of that grass picked up. We've got three grass fields, I believe, maybe four ready to go. Do we still have that other field? Yeah, we do, so I guess I gotta do that too. And honestly, it may be about time to buy another one of these. We're, we're doing all right, man, but I, I think we might need a little bit more, especially with everything that we've got. So we're going to pick this up, and I think I'm going to head to the same field that the sugar bee harvesters are in, just to have a little bit of fun. So this provides us with twofold. Number one, we need silage for our cattle. Number two, we also need silage to keep the BGA running. I don't know if I'm going to keep that running or not, but at least for now, it seems to be working pretty well. And here it is. I had a couple people ask it, how exactly is it going to work? And, well, it's just like this. <laughs> it's just a couple, uh, couple setups. Good to go. Nothing too crazy. What we're gonna do is we are going to do a uh, set, I think, you know, I think at least for now, we're just gonna kick everything in towards the center. Nothing too wild and crazy. And we'll start on the outside and we'll run a little headland all the way around. I am gonna do some fast farming with this just cause it can't, uh oh. Not where I wanted that. There we go. That's right. So the only thing about, uh, sugar beet harvesters is the hilariousness that is them trying to turn around it it's so funny watching them be like eh, eh, eh. Oh, i can't i can't do it oh oh, oh I, I can do it oh i can do it nope i didn't nope 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 that's kind of what it's like it's kind of funny <laughs> and now that we've run a little bit of a helper head lens Let's go ahead and bring it right here and hire him up on a worker. That's one field. And we gotta do the rest of them. I figured for the new one, let's just go Challenger because the other set's got some uh, pretty specific headers that go pretty specific uh, ways. Actually, as a matter of fact, we could probably modify those because, well, they're not specific anymore. Nonetheless, uh, we got a couple fields right through here. Uh oh. Full grain. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, well, I guess we need to fire the worker and bring him back over here, right about there. Yeah, that'll do. And then this guy's going to be empty here in just a second. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and boom that out. And we'll take care of both of these. I do have the crop destruction turned off, but I tell you what, I'm looking at all this. We're going to get a whole lot of these. Now, one thing that we need is I believe it's an auger wagon. There's a whole pack that turns your crops into cut sugar beets. But I gotta find them. Ah, here it is. Yeah, 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 the bee cutter pack. Yo, this is epic. So what it does, this mod contains all the base game auger trailers and they've been changed to only accept sugar beets and will unload cut sugar beets via the pipe. But we're probably gonna modify that a little bit because it only holds a little bit. And here's what we're talking about. So what I've done is I've loaded in every single piece that have come in this mod pack. I jumped down to fill unit and here it says 20,000. Uh, not really as much fun as I want it to be. So we're just gonna go with a million and uh, and that'll be just fine. You can see down here, fill units, allow uh, full threshold, display port, fill type, sugar beads. And we'll do it one more time. Okay, maybe leave this uh, fine. Change this number. All right, we're back in the game now, and we've got, uh, well, another half a million liters of sugar beets, which is good, because I've modified everything to hold one million. So, we're still gonna have to make more than one trip. Here they are, right here. So, all we gotta do is grab one of these and fill it up with 
sugar beads, and we should be good to go. I've also set it to where it'll uh, empty out pretty darn quick. The only one was this. So it's a, uh, a six-bit hopper, which is kind of interesting. So I just made them all hold a 100,000 probably. We could have done better. I, I kind of want to go overboard a little bit with this, but the great thing is we don't really have to. So I think I may go with either an Elmer's or a Dimco just because I think it'll look better with this map specifically. Okay, and oh boy, while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on these fields as well. That way we can get these grass fields cut and have as much as we can for later on. Drop it down, let's go. So here's an interesting one. Um, these guys were able to harvest this entire field without me realizing it. And, and I don't quite know how they've been able to do that, but they did it. There are a couple little spots here and there, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit them. But, uh, yeah, they did the whole field. <laughs> they did it really good. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, not, uh, I'm a little bit speechless right now because these workers actually did a good job. And, and who would have thought it would have been sugar beet, the harvesters that would have done it right. All right. The elusive sugar beet double dump. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now that these don't need to be had anymore, we'll go ahead and go through and wait. Oh, that's diesel. I was about to say, why is it? Uh-uh. No, no, no. All right. Now it's going to be an interesting part because we are going to be turning these sugar beets into cut sugar beets to be able to use with our BGA probably should be fine. Also, uh, pretty sure there's some guys that need some help around here. Yeah, that, I think this guy needs just a little extra bit of help moving forward. There we go. And now time for the fun. Of course, now is when the train goes by. I love it, man. I love it. Let's make way too much cut sugar beets. This is going to be a good time. So first things first, we'll go ahead and dump that out right there and we'll grab our tractor. I've gone ahead and brought down our Magnum and reset it here and I went for the Dimco in red. That'll look good. I think it's going to be absolutely perfect for what we want to use it for. We'll take this, pick it up, and then I'm just going to put this right under the silo over there and then put our uh, trailer right beside it. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to get too much, but at least we'll be able to do a little bit. Actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm going to do this. That seems like a pointless thing to use that because I'm just going to dump it out of one thing and then dump it into something else. That's idiotic. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill this up and go from there. So real quick, uh, before we do the sugar beets, I don't know how to hire a worker on this field. I have no idea. So I'm going to hire him right there and we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so the uh, tractor is now full of sugar beets, one million liters of them, and then I'm going to just spin it right around and put the auger over, and now it is popping out cut sugar beets. Again, this is a mod for all platforms. It's really cool. It's a, it a I guess it's using the auger, or maybe they're role playing that there's a like a cutter down in here somewhere, cutting the sugar beets. I don't know. It was kind of cool. So really easy cut sugar beets. Nice. And lastly, we'll come through here and get the rest of them. One of the nice things is this only takes sugar beets. So no matter what you put in here, it's only going to take sugar beets. And there we go. All done. I'm going to come up to, I think this one. Actually, I need to figure out which one of these is cut sugar beets. That's silage. That's manure and silage. That's also silage. That is cut sugar beets. I need to figure out, you know what? I'm I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna put them in the tractor right here and then we'll go from there. Yeah, a little, almost too easy. Yo, that's an awesome screenshot. All right, so now I've basically done all the sugar beets. Every sugar beet that we've got is now cut. So we're going to return that and we'll jump in here, turn off those little flashy lights. And now I've got a bunch of grass I gotta pick up because basically all of our crops have been done there. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot of grass to pick up before the end of the season. Now, so just so we can finish everything, I got a bunch of fields that are ready to have all the grass picked up. Of course, we've got these fields right about here, and then we've got one way off into the distance. I don't know if I could show it. Yeah, that one right there. That's that's one. And then right over there. So, boom, 
Let's pick it all up. I'm sure we're going to get a good half a million liters of grass off of these fields. Maybe more. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be more, but you know what? I hope it is. So we've got four fields to do, and we're almost done with field number two. Um, two of the smallest ones, by the way. And we're already about half a million. I think we're going to do just fine with grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, three fields done, and guess what? I've got to go unload. <laughs> and back in the silo it goes. A little bit too far away and should not uh, take too long. There we go. So that'll transfer over and make us some silage. Oh wait, and hay, won't it? Oh, let's pop and take a look at this real quick. Okay, so I actually have the hay turned off. We do have hay around here somewhere. At least I thought we did. Is there any hay in here? Grass, straw, milk, sir? No. No. Oh. We, we might. We might need to make some hay, because we need to make some food as well. Rounding it out, we have another half a million, 562,000 liters of grass here. We need to go and put this in our salad thingy. Yeah, all right. So that is good. That is done. And we do need to make a little bit of hay, so probably going to have to babysit this thing a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is monitor... Because we have about 1.5 million liters total. So I think once this gets down to about a million liters left, we'll go ahead and turn both on and uh, we'll have a million liters of silage and half a million liters of hay. Should be plenty for feeding our cattle and feeding everybody else as well. And I think that's probably going to do it for series number two here from Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We have done a whole lot and we have managed to get ourselves involved with some big fields. We don't really have a big farm yet, but uh, we do have plenty of money. I do think going forward, it might be a good idea to possibly remodel this area a little bit, give it some more goodies and make it a little bit more larger. That way we can uh, well have more fun with it and make some more money. Plus, going forward, I think it would be a lot of fun to take a look at the rest of the map and possibly... Build out just a little bit. We've got another series left. We've got series three. Yeah. So get excited because we're about to rock.